everybody. Welcome in. Oh, my hair. I don't know. <laughs> it's just messed up. Goes its own way these days. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing, but. All right. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. I walked away to go grab some stuff while I was waiting for people to come in. <laughs> and uh, my cat did the catwalk. Um, just so you know, that is a normal thing. I have cats and they tend to uh, run this catwalk, which is my desk. And uh, that's what they do for fun. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you'll be meeting all my little characters soon because that's what they do. Uh, hi, Jean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad everybody's stepping on in. Hi, Frank. Welcome, welcome. Glad you guys can make it. And uh, those that are new, I will be um, going over some announcements and some um, other little details to my auction so that you get to know me and know how I run things at my auction. Because everybody's auctions are different. Everybody does their thing different than each other. So uh, I will give you a little bit of info on that, okay? Oh, good. Those boots were killer, Jean. Oh, I'm telling you, if they would have been my size, I would have kept them. <laughs> would have kept them. I didn't. Oh, I was like, oh, it couldn't have been my size, could it have? I couldn't have got that lucky. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, and thank you, thank you, you first timers. And um, totally rad. I forgot. I think you mentioned your name in the chat. I seen you. Uh, forgive me for not remembering, but what is your name? Again, so that, uh, you know, when I speak to you, I can call you and um, call you by your name. Maybe that would be better. I, I'm glad you're all here. Uh, totally stoked. Glad you're here. And um, 
like I said, I will be going over very shortly uh, all the stuff that you need to know uh, to be involved in my channel. Thank you, thank you. Yes, that'll work. Susanna, Helen, and Helen, it's your first time here. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Hi, everybody. Uh, oh, I'm glad everybody's stepping on in. Carol, hugs, Carol. <laughs> Hugs to you. Um, we got enough people. I'll go ahead and start because I want to reach out to the first timers here and um, give you a little bit of detail to my auctions, how I work, how I run. And that way you know what to do or not to do maybe um, and how to buy something from my channel. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to welcome though each and every person uh, to my channel, my little channel. I appreciate it so much. Um, you, you don't even know. Uh, so though, those of you that are new, um, I will go over a little bit of, uh, I will go over a little bit of the details to purchasing, um, something from me. So this is how it works. Um, if you are new, I, let me put up, I'm going to put up, uh, my ticker tape that's got my email on it. Let's start there, because you're gonna need that um, to send your PayPal info. There it is, right there. So those of you that are new, before we get started um, into the actual auction, if you could, if you um, are thinking about purchasing, um, and uh, you do, please send me an email that has your PayPal billing email your YouTube name so that I know who you are uh, from the chat, your real name and your shipping address and send it to my email, which is right there, trbl5 at yahoo.com, okay? Uh, it is trbl, stands for trouble. After you get to know me, you'll be like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> you'll be like, it makes sense that uh, her name is trouble. But any hoozy, uh, TRBL5 at Yahoo. Please, if you could send all that info, if you want to send it now, that's cool. Uh, that way you're all set to rock and roll and bid on anything you see tonight. Now, I do bids, meaning auction style, and I also do buy it nows. Buy it now means the first person who puts um, the amount into the chat, let's say I'm selling this lip gloss for five bucks. You put the number five in the chat. If it's a buy it now, which it'll say B-I-N, that means buy it now. Uh, it's yours if you're the first one in the chat to put five. Um, and then if I put SB at $5, that means starting bid at $5. And that means it's auction. That means you got a bid to win. And once you are out and you have reached your maximum potential of bidding, please uh, quickly put in the word out in the chat so that I know you're out and I can go ahead and call it down to whoever outbid you, okay? Uh, it's just a kind of a normal protocol in an auction, but uh, that part of it, I'm pretty much like everybody else when it comes to auction, okay? Thank you, Carol. Uh, yeah, welcome all of you, everybody, whether you're new, whether you're old, that sounds, you know what I mean. I don't mean old, like age wise, although some of you, you know, some of you are up there <laughs> just saying, Carol, <laughs> just saying, Bob, uh, and Bob, um, he will be my moderator in the chat. He's under the name. Robert the trucker. So when you see Robert the trucker, that is Bob. He's right here uh, with me. So um, that's him. And if you have any questions, anybody who's new, or like I said, even if you're not new, if you're old, if you're an old, old fart, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, no, anyway, uh, whatever the question is, just go ahead and shoot. You can ask me anything. Um, I will say to those that are new, um, I do not take offers unless I specify, meaning if, let's use this again, this lipstick here, if it's $5, uh, I don't take offers in the chat. Let's say, Dawn, I'll give you three. Is that okay? Uh, I don't work that way. Um, 
what I price it is what I intend on getting out of it. Um, if I ever do offers, so far I never have on my channel. I know some people do. Um, if I ever do, I will specify, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to do an offer. You know, give me your best offer on this. <laughs> well, on this lip gloss here, the lipstick, whatever it is, lip lacquer. I don't know. It says uh, NYX lingerie. I guess you wear that when you're putting on your lingerie. I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's my theory to it. <laughs> I mean, how else can you? I mean, why would you name it lingerie? That's a whole nother segment on a whole nother show. We'll get into things like that, weird things another time. But uh, this is the auction. We're going to get started soon. And everybody in the chat that uh, is my regulars, they're cool. Uh, they are kind. They're decent people. And once you get to know them, you'll like them, you love them, just like I do. Yeah, Carol, how's the pool? I'm really jealous, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Even though I actually got to be in a pool yesterday, so I guess I can't say much. <laughs> uh, my daughter and grandchild were up yesterday, and uh, I got to spend time with them, and we went to a hotel and chilled out, so it was great. Hey, Crystal, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm glad everybody's coming on in. It's great. Great, great, great. All right. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to start. In my title, you probably noticed, I'm going to be selling sterling silver tonight, health and beauty items, and uh, this and that. This and that, uh, to those of you that are new, I sell a lot of this and that uh anything from home decor to clothing to shoes to uh breakables uh, collectibles knickknacks purses wallets um i have a plethora of stuff uh stuff for kids kids toys kids this and that uh you name it i sell it if it's small enough or um you know going to be pretty easy to ship. I do it. Also, those of you that are new, if you live outside of the United States, don't even worry about it because I do ship international. So don't even think twice about it. Don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. Like I said, if you want to slip me um, an email with all your info, that'd be great. And you can uh, bid on anything you see tonight. Okay. You can bid right along with the rest of my gangsters in there. My oldies but goodies. All right, so we're going to get started. Um, hmm. What should we get started on? Like I said, I got just an array of stuff. You wouldn't even believe. I guess what we'll do also, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. that I Thank you, Helen, so much. One other, one other, one other thing, if I could talk. One other thing I want to mention is I have a huge, huge, huge. Well, Bob, I need another uh, Walmart bag. I have a whole big Kroger bag, soon to be a Walmart bag, full of jewelry. It is a jewelry lot of the costume format. I will be selling tonight. Um, those of you that want to see a big, huge um, costume lot, please let me know in the chat because it is going up for sale. I'm not going to be able to show you everything in it, um, but it is huge. It weighs a ton, and I want it gone tonight, if possible. Um, and uh, I'm going to start it out at a really good price. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to let that one go. And I need it to go to a good home. Somewhere out of this home into one of yours. Okay, so. Interested in seeing the costume lot. Good, good, good. That is good news. We might start out with that then. If you guys are interested, we might. Let's go ahead and do that, Bob. Let's take off all this stuff. And I'm going to weigh it. Uh, we'll start out with the weight because this one's hefty. This one's a hefty little booger. And right now... I've got it in two of these big old, well, it's a Walmart bag and a Kroger bag, so same difference. Uh, but it is chopped 
pull. I know there's mother of pearl stuff in there. There's all kinds of costume, glass, um, you know, acrylic, plastic, probably. Um, and there's all kinds of things. I know there's one scarf clip in there. There's earrings, bracelets, necklaces, yada, 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 yada. So literally all that stuff. I think there's a couple watches in there. Uh, yeah. Whole lot of stuff, stuff going on. Yeah, that probably fell. All right. So I guess we'll start with the lot. Why not? You're going to be right back? Okay. No problem, Susanna. <laughs> yeah, Carol, you don't need to get any more of the lobster color. Okay, guys, this one is, woo, it's over six pounds. Right now, it's at six pounds pounds 15 ounces i'll probably put it up to here leave that sit i'll probably put it up to uh let's throw in this just toss it in there ah seven pounds even i just turned it up to seven pounds even right now now i can uh make it bigger trust me i have lots of costume uh so that can mm -hmm. happen but i will show it let's go ahead um, yeah, hand it to me, and I'm going to start showing stuff out of the bag. Yeah. Hi, Paula. Welcome. Paula's got a new uh, profile shot. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're going to need Yeah, take off that bag, and we'll need another bag. The bags keep ripping. It's so big. But don't worry. When I ship this, guys, uh, I will ship this in bubble wrap. It will be secure. Um, I always do. When I ship a big uh, lot, don't worry about um, how it's going to be shipped. And those of you that are wondering how much it's going to be, I don't know until tomorrow. And speaking of which, those of you that are new that have never ordered from me, Mondays, every Monday is my invoicing day. I have several auctions throughout the week. And then come tomorrow on a Monday, um, it is I invoice you and then you have 24 hours to pay the invoice. Um, that's how I work. That was the other uh, little detail that I needed to bring up. I forgot to tell the new people, but uh, that is port important to know. So uh, yeah, that's how I work, guys. Um, so we are going to get the party started with this big, huge costume lot. Um, Let's start this out at 40. We're going to start this out at 40. Here we go, guys. Um, let me, where's my board? I'm going to show some stuff in here. I really highly doubt I'm going to be able to show everything. There's just too much. Okay. I totally get you, Carol. I understand. Um, there is marked pieces and also unmarked pieces. This is the way it goes with me. Literally, I just threw in everything. Okay. There's no, it's not like one lot of nothing but marked pieces. It's a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get it. We're going to show the first one if I can. Just doesn't want to lay. There we go. Oh, uh, well, I had it until it tipped, but. Okay, this is one of the pieces in it. This is a big statement piece. It does lay correctly. It's just not for me the way it's on the board right now. But this is like a big uh, pink, gray, and white, and pearl uh, necklace, multi-chain. And it has a toggle. This is going in there. Um, like I said, I won't be able to show everything, but I'll show what's in here now um, that I can show right here. Um, I have a whole bag um, that has some brand new uh, pieces in it. Um, and these pieces, a lot of them are sets. Uh, for example, this one 
is $9.99. Still on the tag. And um, I have two or three of those sets in here. Um, I've got some new earrings in there. Um, these are new pieces of jewelry that are in here in this particular bag. Okay. Uh, this one is a long acrylic necklace with this lime green like sun in it. There's that. I have this orange um, seed bead set. It's the necklace and I believe a bracelet. Yep. So it's this necklace and it comes with the matching bracelet. There's that set. Um, not everything is a set. Some of these obviously are individual pieces. Um, I did throw in a bolo tie and this bolo tie is unique because um, this piece right here is an agate. And in this agate, um, it's really unique. I'm not it almost looks like the inside of the stone um, of the agate itself, almost like on the inside there's a chip out of it, but it was covered over, if that makes any sense at all. But that is an agate, and it's a bolo tie on a cord, that's in there. It is a real genuine stone, um, very unique. And um, I was trying to figure out how to describe that because it's so very different. Uh, what is that? That was not in there. Okay, so I've got two of these uh, bracelets. They have the white and the rhinestones. They're exactly the same. Um, I'll show you this mother pearl and faux pearl set. I'll put this on the board. Now, I will be putting more in if anybody um, wants to start going on this. Uh, there's some mother pearl for you guys and some faux pearls. It's on a just a normal chain there. It's got a long extension, probably about uh, three inches. I'm guessing. And so that's a really nice uh, necklace there. Nice and cold. Ooh, that's cold. Uh, the pearls on this one are glass. Uh, so that'd be nice to wear during the summer. Um, this bag is completely full, guys. It's got so many things in it. I've got this um, bracelet that's kind of like a Alex and Ani uh, knockoff kind of bracelet. Silver tone. It's got the pink beads to it. I'm not sure who made it, but that is another piece in there. Um, like I said, I know I'll be throwing more stuff in here, guys, uh, just because I'm trying really hard to get rid of stuff, period. Um, I've got this set that's just missing one of the pairs of the studs in there that is uh, still new on the card. I've got some stone earrings right there. Um, and these earrings, I'm not so sure, but I almost want to say they're made out of granite, not a type of uh, stone like an agate. I think that's more of like a granite or a soapstone. Um, I'm not sure which, but it could go either way. Um, so there's those earrings. And they're not so heavy they're going to rip out your ears. So don't worry about that. But uh, literally, we've got some earrings. We've got some more necklaces. Um, I've got a silver tone bracelet, like a panel bracelet. Um, I've got a chunky... Uh, wooden break necklace right there um, and a wooden stretch. We've got a big paper mache 
necklace. There might be more than one in that bag, actually. Um, this was that necklace uh, I did show the other night. This is that multi-strand. I love this one. With all the seed beads, and um, I think they are glass beads, and it's like uh, three layers of nothing but uh, beads. And it can go right over the head. Really, really nice. Nice for the summer. That's in there. Like I said, I've got more. Um, just a ton, guys. It would take me forever to show you. Um, oh, I've got this rhodonite. This is a um, actual stone. It's a rhodonite necklace. See the rhodonite? Um, there's disc of rhodonite, and then they've got the black uh, faceted acrylic beads. That's in there. Um, so you do have some stone as well. Um, just uh, there's so much in here, guys. Um, this is kind of a retro style necklace. It's gray, and it's got that inlay work in there. That's in there. You've got this hot pink dyed shell um, illusion necklace. That's in there. Like I said, there's earrings. Um, this is a three-piece gold tone necklace. One of them has feathers. Really, really nice, dainty. Um, there's some paparazzi in here. Uh, this necklace, I think, is so adorable. It's on a really nice chain, too. It's that panda, pave encrusted crystals there on that nice thick chain. That's in there. So uh, if anybody wants to start out at 40, if not, I'm going to put this all back. Like I said, it's chocked full. It would take me all night to sit here and show everything in here. Uh, but if you are interested in this, let me know. Okay. I knew I wouldn't be able to show it all to you. I was just showing right off the top here. Uh, some of the stuff that was in there. Um, oh, also, for you resellers, in this lot, there's a whole big bag full of pins. These are tack pins, okay? Uh, you could easily turn around your money um, from that bag. Um, so I did want to, I forgot to mention that. But there's everything from sports to... Um, there's Sylvester, um, just odds and ends in there. I see an angel. I see, uh, it looks like there might be some brooches. I see a purse. Uh, I think that might actually be a brooch. Uh, just all kinds of, there's the Sylvester. That's in here. That's included in this uh, mystery lot, basically. So if anybody wants that, just let me know. We're going to move on. Um, I'm going to start with some health and beauty. And the health and beauty that I have tonight, um, I'll kind of go back and forth maybe. I'll start with some health and beauty and then go back to the jewelry. Because I have sterling to sell tonight and uh, other odds and ends. Okay, so... Um, the health and beauty that I am going to show you guys is going to be a buy it now. All these products are brand new, uh, but they're cheaper than what you would get them into the stores, such as Ulta or Sephora or uh, Walmart or what have you, okay? The first one is going to be buy it now for $4. This is by Gillette. It is the Gillette Clinical Clear Gel uh, Antiperspirant for Men in the scent power rush it comes in the box buy it now for four okay there's that we're gonna move on i'm gonna go kind of quick guys just because um you know i don't want to 
go too, too long. The next item I actually have three of. Um, this is going to be buy it now for six. This is the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in the shade 200 Blackest Black. I love this one. That's one of the best uh, drugstore mascaras out there, my personal opinion. L'Oreal and their mascaras, they're just really good. I honestly, um, I like most of their mascaras. I do. Um, we also have some other men's stuff. Um, these two deodorants, I thought I had another one in here somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, I have three actually. So, oh, here's, um, here's what that Gillette clinical looks like that deodorant right here. So I have two of those. Just remember that guys. Um, the next two items are also for men. These are going to be $2 buy it now. Okay. Okay, Paula. You too. Hope you have a good night. Um, so we've got Old Spice. This is the scent Clean Slate. Um, these are the blue gel. Um, so, huh? No, two. These are two. And then I have the Mitchum. This is the 48-hour protection uh, antiperspirant in the scent Mountain Air. These are brand new, okay, guys? And uh, $2 a pop on those deodorants. Hi, Joyce. Welcome. Then I have this one. This is a buy it now for $5. It's the brand Harry's. It's the face wash for men. It's got peppermint in it, guys. It's supposed to um, really awaken the cells and the pores. Uh, it gently exfoliates. Who doesn't love that? Five bucks for that one, okay? Then I have this one. This one um, we're going to do for $10. This is by Precision Beauty Skin Care Solutions. It's the Energizing Coffee and Coconut Exfoliating Face Scrub. Holy tamole. This one was made in Korea, guys. It is 5.75 fluid ounces. Coffee and coconut. Yeah, those would really clean the face. I could see why that would be a thing. So uh, 10 bucks if anybody's interested in that one. All right, we're going to switch gears. Uh, we're going to go back and forth kind of on the health and beauty and the sterling. I've got some sterling to show you guys, so we're going to do it that way, I guess. Let me put this down. Put these over here so I can get them out of my way. All right. The first sterling piece I have up for grabs is going to be some earrings. And um, these are Mexico 925 earrings and i am going to start these out at 35 and these are lapis lazuli let me uh get them on my pen here guys i might be able to show them better just give me one minute here I gotta separate them i don't know if they're gonna stay separated Oh, I see why. I see now. All right. Just one second, guys. I'm trying to get them to where I can show them. Okay, so this is what we have here, guys. We have some lapis uh, sterling earrings. They're in a square cut. And um, they have the cutted the cut edge to the squares. I'm going to show you the markings on the back. They have a shepherd's hook and they are open in the back. I'll show you the back. Let me take them off the pen. Okay. 
And I'll get my magnifier out and see if you guys can see that marking better. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do not clean my sterling. And I do that because there's a lot of people that like the patina left on them. So I just uh, leave it up to the buyer. Uh, right there at the top, it says Mexico 925. Right, there we go. Bingo. Bingo. We got it. <laughs> Telling you. All right. These are the little earrings, and um, that's about the size that they'll hang. Uh, kind of a small to medium. Hi, Lisa Jenkins. Welcome in. So there's that lapis, guys. If anybody's interested, I don't know why it's in such a big bag. Uh, sometimes I put things in the weirdest bags, guys. I don't understand it, but we'll put that guy up. We're going to go on to the next. I have a size seven and three quarters uh, inch garnet ring. This is a nine two five. I'm going to start it out at twenty five. Nice little garnet ring. Um, this one has a hammered um, band to it. Now it it was done this way on purpose, guys. This is not. Uh, something that was damaged that went through the uh, garbage disposal and then I sold it. <laughs> it was done that way on purpose. Here's the back of the garnet. You could see right through it. And um, just by looking at this garnet, guys, I would say it's a rotolite. A rotolite garnet. Oh, man, look at that. Love it. I know, Gene. Some might... Some might argue that I put it through the garbage disposal, but I did not. Uh, I've put my spoons accidentally through there. I put some forks. Uh, you know, I throw dishes in the sink, and they get down in the garbage disposal. And then some dingbat turns on the garbage disposal. And before you know it, I have silverware that looks like it's been mauled. You know, that's always fun. I haven't done that in a long time, though, so, hey, I'm doing better. That's how that one looks, guys, an oval little cabochon uh, setting there. I love the chunk of that garnet. It's a fat little piece right there. Uh, starting at $25, guys, um, a lot of this sterling, guys, is starting out uh, on a fair price. Nothing's going to be overdone at all, Okay. The next ring is a size 8. It is, uh, what one is this stamped? Well, let's see. 925 as well. I'm going to get out my little eye because it looks like um, a possible other mark. And I just now noticed it. Let's see if we do it this way. Yeah, there is a mark. I can't quite make it out. It almost looks like it's trying to be uh, that dollar sign mark, but I'm not. I'm not sure on the mark, guys, because I can't tell if some of it was kind of wore off. But it does say nine two five. This one's starting out at twenty five dollars, guys. That's it. This is a size eight, and it's a pretzel. And the two little stones in there, I do not know what they are, only because I do not quite yet have a Presidium tester. Uh, they could be diamonds. They could be zircon. They could be white sapphire. I don't know what they are. They could be CZs. Uh, I just don't know. Um, but feel free when you get it to test it. $25, guys, that's a, that's a good deal. It's sterling. Either way, I mean, if you get diamonds, that's a heck of a good deal, isn't it? 
<laughs> so there's that one. This one is a size eight. And it, this is a perfect ring, I feel, for a young lady or a woman that doesn't like the big gaudy stones. Um, I wear dainty and gaudy. I, I wear all different sizes. I, I, I don't discriminate. When it comes to jewelry, I wear it all. Um, but not every woman likes the big gaudy stuff. Some of them like dainty stuff like this. So if you're interested in those, let me know. We're going to keep it rocking and rolling. Um, let's go back to the uh, health and beauty. Love not, yes. Yes. If you're in love, I mean, men out there, if you're in love, you've got to get your lady a love knot. You have to. I don't know. It's it's probably a law somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Bob says, really? He, he thinks I'm reaching for that one. <laughs> I might be. Okay, this one is going to start out at 10. Uh, we'll just do it auction style. Uh, this is a uh, facial cleansing foam. It is a uh, vitamin C uh, fresh cleansing foam. And this is by the brand Orgina. That's how I'm going to pronounce it, guys. Uh, you know, um, and this also is uh, from Korea. And they give me these words that I can't pronounce. But this is what it is right here, guys. Um, it says, Orgina Vitamin C Fresh Cleansing Foam is the perfect skin formula moisture balancing cleansing foam with delicate fruit fragrance provides an extra gentle cleansing, which is unlikely to lead to irritation. So those of you that have real sensitive skin, in other words, uh, you're going to benefit from this. This is a big tube of it. It's uh, 6.09 fluid ounces. Okay. Um, that's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Good for your face. Next, next, next. Uh, this one is uh, going to be buy it now for $3, guys. This is a steal. You ladies out there that uh, uh, need to buy your man some body wash because he's stinking up a storm, here you go. This is by Old Spice. It is the ultra smooth moisturizing body and face wash in the scent. Clean slate. Three bucks, guys. Now, Please tell me where you can find this stuff for three bucks when you go to the stores. Because I'm here to tell you, I don't see it for three bucks. Not in my stores, not in my Walmart. Uh, this is 16 fluid ounces. There you be. All right, let's move on. Um, we're going to do this next one. A Buy It Now for Seven. This is by Bath and Body Works. This is the Snowy Peach Berry Shower Gel. It has aloe and vitamin E in it. And I told you guys before, this smells so amazing. Oh, man. You smell the peach, but it's there's like a background floral scent to it. Um, it says peach berry. Uh, I, I can't, it smells so good though. Oh man. And you know, Bath and Body Works, can they really do anything wrong? I don't think they can. 10 ounces, guys, seven bucks, and it's yours. Why not? Why the heck not? All right, let's get back to the sterling, guys. I've got a uh, brand new marcasite necklace. Uh, any marcasite lovers out there, I'm one. I love marcasite. So beautiful. Let me measure this necklace before I give you a price and give you what I want and all that happy stuff. All right. What is this one? This one is exactly 18 inches is what this is. And let me see the marking. Let me get my trusty eyeball out here. Italy. 925. And... It's also marked CW. So Italy, 925 CW. We're going to start it out at $45. Uh, this is a brand new necklace that I have not shown. Uh, but I'm liking this one. Oh, it's so pretty. 
uh, take a look at this one, guys. We got a beautiful black stone there, and it is wrapped with a huge, beautiful marcasite bow. Are you kidding me right now? Look at that. Looks like it wrapped that stone like a present. I love it. Take a look at the bale. Very unique bale to it. Here's the back. It is open. That partial opening in the back. Um, my nose is itching. I apologize, guys. Um, it's probably annoying to you guys. Um, yeah, I um, the stone is nice and cold. Um, man, this one is pretty. Look at that. And all the marcasites are there, guys. I already checked this one over a half a million bazillion times, and they're all there. Amanda's in the house. Welcome. How you doing, girly? Isn't that beautiful, guys? The stone is literally wrapped in a bow as a present, mm -hmm. a little present. Love it. Bob, <laughs> kiss Bob quick. <laughs> oh, well, he's clear over there. And if I have to, you have to come here so I can kiss you. Why are you going to kiss me? I don't know. I'm scared to. Don't, don't do know. anything. <laughs> Carol's the one that said it. Okay. Now lean over. <laughs> you ready for PDA? You guys are going to barf. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much, guys. We're going too far here, aren't we? <laughs> Everybody's gagging in the chat. Okay. Well, see, you know, when you come here, you never know, guys. I mean, there might be kissing. There might be kiss a fool or get in a fight. <laughs> Carol, I knew she was up to something, but I didn't know which angle she was going Man, oh, you guys are hilarious. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, you guys. You never know what's going to happen here. And for you new people, um, which this is a great uh, segue right into the fact that when you come here, be prepared, okay? I probably should have mentioned that before, but hey. And um, if anybody did gag, please blame Carol, okay? All the guilt goes her way. All right. Oh, there's insanity here, folks. Trust me. Okay. Health and beauty, onward. <laughs> uh, this one, let's do it for $6. Why not? Uh, this is going to be by it now. Six bucks. This is by... Physician's Formula, this is the Natural Defense Multicolor Stick. Uh, basically, you can use this for your lips, your cheeks, uh, your eyes, I don't know. Maybe your toes, whatever, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, this is in the shade, what shade is this? Soft pink, um, but it looks peach. I'm going to get it out so you guys can see. <laughs> oh, yes, we have to blame you, Carol. We have to. I mean, well, we could blame Bob. I don't know. That might be more fun. I'm just sitting here being innocent. <laughs> Bob says he's sitting here being innocent. Now, if Carol. you guys believe that, I've got a castle over in uh, Scotland to sell you. There's one in you. you can go walk through. Oh, so you tell me there's one in Ohio that I can walk through and we haven't gone yet? I just want to All right. Know. So here it is, guys. I'm going to show you the color because to me it looks pretty peachy. I know I've looked at this. Be oh, yeah, I love this one. They call this soft pink, but I'm here to tell you it looks straight up like a peach. Look how gorgeous that color is. And literally you can put it on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheek. I'm just showing you the color because in my view... From here in person, that's peach. Oh, Pi Piat Castle. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got to visit that. <laughs> Susanna, <laughs> she is. Uh, you guys are killing me. Uh, <laughs> so this is that color. It's a beautiful peach, guys. Perfect for the summer, you ladies. Now, you guys know when I put on makeup, and I was in such a hurry, guys, uh, that my makeup is practically, I don't know, it's its kind of a mess. Uh, but I did look at my uh, eyes. That's a brand new eyeshadow. It's like a peachy orange. Looks more orange eyeshadow, and I love it. It's by ColourPop, and I love that one. Bob got me that uh, when we went to Ulta probably two weeks ago or something like that. Okay, so this one is uh, $6 is what I said, yeah. And you guys know, Physicians Formula, uh, their prices have gone up because they're like a leading uh, drugstore brand. Why can't I get that? Anyway. There it is. I'm struggling. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard. Good Lord. Okay. Now, I have these lots. I've had them for a while. And um, these are going to be, um, I'm just going to do these, buy it now for four bucks each. Okay. Four bucks. That's it. And each bag has the same amount of stuff. I think there's five different health and beauty stuff in here. Four bucks each. This is all brand new stuff. You guys can't beat this, okay? I'm going to show you bag number three. So if you, these are buy it now for four. If you want any of these bags, please put the number of the bag in the chat. This one is number three. Here we go. Each of them gets a brand new toothbrush, okay? This one has blue. You also get some like mouth, uh, makeup and health and beauty. We got this um, mask bar, holographic peel off mask, sheet mask. You get that. You also get this uh, travel size of the Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. You also get, this is all in one bag. Um, This is a foundation, guys. Uh, CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Age-Defying Makeup Plus Sunscreen in the shade 140 Natural Beige. Um, I am a medium skin tone. Um, and this is, uh, I could probably wear this. Uh, it's, it's a very medium to medium dark color. Okay, that's in here. And then the very last thing in this bag is... The EcoFresh Botanicals Hand and Body Lotion, okay? This is all in one bag, four bucks, guys. Uh, where are you going to find a bag with foundation and all this crap in there? Four bucks. That is bag number three. Bag number four is coming up next. Yes, that's what it is, Carol. How'd you guess? <laughs> Yes, beware. I did use these to uh, clean the toilet. And one of these I, I used, uh, Bob used to uh, scrub his toenails with. So beware. <laughs> Here's this one. This is bag number four, guys. Uh, ooh, we got the Fantasy by Mask Bar. This is the Gingerbread Man. Uh, also, we have by Elizabeth Arden. The Night Anti-Aging Overnight Cream. We have that. We also have, by CoverGirl, the Get In Line Active Liquid Liner. It's an eyeliner in the shade 355 Amber Intensity. It's like a, yeah, it's a dark amber color, like auburn color. And then we have a tube of the Clear All Youthful, radiant, age-defying CC plus color seal conditioning therapy. It's the conditioner. This is all in bag number four if you're keeping track. You're sick. <laughs> you're not actually sick, sick, are you? 
And then uh, bag number two. This is bag deuce. Okay. We have the sheet mask. Uh, this is the hydrating sheet mask in the Jehova extract in cranberry essence. Okay. Love that. Of course, you get one of those icky, icky toothbrushes that we rubbed on Bob. You get that. Uh, you get the same conditioning treatment in that um, tube. You also get a wet and wild uh, lip lacquer in the shade Nudist Peach. And then you also get a Crest Pro Health Travel Toothpaste. That is bag number two. So I hope you guys are keeping track of which bag it is. Oh, no, Carol. Oh. Bob, that means I'm going to have to go out and visit Carol, she said. She said she's totally certified. I mean, she's sick. Oh, she's sick. <laughs> I'm not paying attention, people. I need to pay closer attention. I'm reading the chat, but for some reason I didn't see what she was saying. Oh, Carol. She's full of it tonight, people. Okay. So, what was that? That was that. Uh, what do we got? Oh, this one. We're going to do this one for $4, guys. I'm marking this one down just for quick sale. This is by NYX. This is the Epic Wear Waterproof Eye Liner. In the shade, what shade is this? Brown. Brown. It's a dark, I guess, chocolate brown. Eyeliner. So if you have dark brown hair or even light brown hair, uh, this uh, eyeliner, because it's brown, that would look really good. I tell you who this would look good on is Susanna, her hair color. That would. Okay, back to some sterling. We're going back and forth, back and forth. I've got another necklace or necklace, as Carol likes to put it. It's like East Coast accent. Hmm. Let me see. I've got to get my this out. The eyeball. I know it's marked, but it's so teeny tiny. Nine two five. And then it says something else, guys. Like a couple more letters, but I can't quite read this. This is a sterling necklace. I tell you what, guys. We're just gonna start it out at twenty five. Twenty five dollars. For a sterling necklace, guys. I don't think that's too bad of a price. Uh, this is 18, 18 inches. And we have stone before I show it. Um, this stone looks almost like a tourmalinated um, jade or adventuring. I kid you not, guys. I'm going to show it to you. And then there's a little bead up above. Let's just start this out at 20. Guys, we're going to start this out at 20. This is a dainty little necklace. Uh, like I said, I'm having a sterling sale today. I'm, I'm not going to get real outrageous. There are a couple sterling pieces that are going to be a bit more. Um, I paid a bit more for them and also because of what they are. But this one, we're going to start out at 20. Okay? Um, it is sterling. And like I said, right down here is a little green stone on the bottom. I'm probably going to have to. And it's green like um, adventurine, uh, but it's got little what appears to be tourmaline shards running through that stone. And I personally, this is the first time I've ever seen a tourmalinated adventurine. I believe it's adventurine. Now, here again, guys, uh, I'm not going to swear to it. Uh, the bead up above it, I will tell you, uh, feels like clay or, or acrylic. It is not an actual stone. It looks like a ruby fuchsite up above as far as coloration. Uh, but I actually feel that that blue stone up there blue and uh like i said it looks like a ruby fuchsite 
I don't think that one's a real stone. But that bottom one, guys, look at that. That appears to be a tourmalinated um, adventuring, and you can look it up. Um, it's an adventuring with uh, tourmaline little shards to it. So that one's a unique one. First time for me seeing it. <laughs> Carol, I'll need a white jacket soon. Trust me. My time's coming and it's soon. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it going, guys. Um, all right. I am going to mark down these earrings. I have showed these before um, for quick sale. Okay? I am starting these out at $28. Uh, this is really a steal, guys. These are those gorgeous amber drop earrings that have the rings, the graduated rings to them. I've showed these before. I know they're different colored. Um, the ambers are different colored, um, but that happens. They're stones. They're going to be different colored. They're not going to be exactly alike. That is real amber. Here's the back. The back is not open. It's closed off, and it is marked. Uh, like I said, guys, a great, great deal on these. Uh, they are marked. Holy cow, if I could hold it steady. Oh, really, Dawn? Sorry, guys. I'm probably making you sick. Yeah, they are. Oh, this is Baltic Amber, guys. Um, and so they have the little uh, buggies in there, the little sediments you can see. Uh, the little pieces of whatnot. Remember, amber is a sap. It is. It's a. It's not a stone. Stone that grows in the ground, or that God put on the earth that way. It is made with sap. Isn't that interesting? I love that. I love natural stones, guys. They're so interesting. How can you not? Uh, these ones are also going. For quick sale, buy it now for 15. These are sterling. These are 925 sterling earrings, guys. These are hoops. I just want them gone. Okay. 925 FAS. And these are the earrings. Let me get them. I'm going to use my trusty pen because what else am I going to use? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, here we go, guys. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? These are $15, guys. Buy it now. Sterling hoop earrings. How are you doing, Lisa? Uh, Lisa, I do. I will be getting a hold of you tomorrow if I can. Um, I know you have a day job, so I'll get a hold of you tomorrow evening sometime if that's okay. Very beautiful, guys. They were tested. I did test them. They are definitely sterling. Um, very beautiful. Simple, easy. Maybe you have a young lady. Maybe there's somebody with a birthday coming up. Those would be a great gift. Okay. We're going on. Like I said, I'm going to mark this one down too. Okay. This one I had at uh, $45, but not tonight. Tonight we are uh, clearancing down our sterling. So this one tonight, guys, is starting at $35. Uh, I'm taking $10 off the price. This is SU925 Mexico. This is a Mexico brooch, and it is huge. It's a giraffe. $35, guys. It's marked on both legs back there. This is an older piece, uh, very well kept. Now, it takes up my entire palm. Starting at 35, it's just a, it's a great piece. Uh, when you want to, you know, wear your safari outfit, you know, your tans, your camel color, <laughs> camel color, and, uh, you know, uh, like your dark sage greens and all that, and then wear this. 
and your tribal necklace, you know, wear that. $35 tonight, guys, because we're marking stuff down uh, for quick sale. It just needs to go, okay? Also, I have this sterling two-piece set. This is going to be real cheap, too, uh, but we're going to do it in auction form in case, you know, more than one person wants it. If I could open this, I'm going to... I'm going to tear open this bag because it's junk. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't even know why I put it in there. Okay, guys. This two-piece set. There it is. I'm like, where's the other earring? Otherwise, I can't sell it. Um, this is going to be a buy it now for $15. $15. That's all it takes. We're going to start out with the earrings. Uh, these are stone earrings. These are stone he, she, uh, round beads there. All stone. Um, it looks like Jasper to me. And then we've got the bracelet. Now, don't worry about, you know, it looks wonky like that. It moves. All these beads move. Look at the toggle. This is sterling, all these findings, including the dove. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm going to measure this because I know um, you're going to want to know, and I don't blame you, the bracelet size. Well, I don't know why that popped up. I'm going to have to get into my settings and figure that out. This is seven and a quarter inches, guys. So it's about average size, um, not too big, um, but it's it's really pretty. This is a two-piece set, guys, and it's all stone, what I believe to be some kind of jasper. Um, um, I think it's all jasper, guys, the way it looks like to me. I would say, I'd have to say it's all Jasper. Okay, so that's a two-piece set. It's it's really beautiful, guys. And uh, $15, why not? Stone, sterling, can't go wrong there. Okay, let's do, oh, I still have this palette. Uh, this is Buy It Now um, for $10. This is by the Dosa Colors. This is... The Blushing Berries. Isn't that pretty? Look at those colors. I, I'm sorry about the prints on the mirror. Isn't that pretty? Let me put it down like that. It's got black. It's got peach, red, like a plum purple. Very beautiful colors. And uh, $10. Buy it now for $10. Yep. $10, guys. It's a beautiful um, palette. And Dosa Colors, if you don't know their eyeshadow, know this. It's highly pigmented. So you only want to put a very little bit on your brush because a very little bit goes a long way. This will last you. This will last you. And it's uh, good quality stuff. Uh, this next one is also a bite now for seven. It's Bath and Body Works, that Midnight Pomegranate Body Lotion. Um, I know there was somebody in the chat that wanted something called Midnight something, or I don't know if it was this one or not that they were asking me to look out for, um, but this is the one I have anyway. It's eight fluid ounces. Buy it now for seven. Okay, I'm going to have you take this bag out of my way. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to put it. Yeah, I know. That's why I can't move. I got a cat down there laying at my feet, guys. So well, anything health and beauty, guys, I pretty much have. From makeup to facial serums, lotions, and potions uh, to men's stuff, deodorants, okay? So if you are looking... For something particular, please let me know. Please, please, please. Okay. 
we're going to get rid of that guy. And we're going to go, let's do some odds and ends. Let's do some this and that, okay? Um, we're going to start out, uh, this is a new piece, and I just got this, and so gorgeous. Um, so actually, I got two of them. We're going to do a choice of, guys. We're going to do a choice of, and we're going to start these out at $8 a piece. Oh, guys, they're beautiful. We're going to start out with this bowl right here. It's a glass bowl. It's heavy. It has the gold gilding, uh, the lining around the lip of it. Look how thick this glass is. And then the back has the carved um, tulips. Look how gorgeous that is. You can feel the frosted glass back there and the etching, the carving in there. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Seven dollars to moonlit. Okay, you got it, Jean. Um, Bob, in that bag, that health and beauty. I need the lotion. Yep, I got to write it down for Jean. Thank you so much, Jean. Uh, okay. Yeah, the lotion that I just showed. The midnight pomegranate. Thank you so much. I will write you down right now. Did you get it? No, not yet. Okay. You can put it here, Bob, in this um, this bag, and here's the tag for it. I'll put the tag right in the bag. Also, can you get the Mountain Air deodorant for the men? Okay. Uh, was that the uh, Mitchum or was that the uh, Gillette? The Mitchum Mountain Air? Okay. Let me put her name on that one, Bob you want to hand that to me and then I'll hand you the bag you got them both okay yep and and seven dollars for the bath and body works lotion you got it Jean thank you so much well Just put them both in this bag, Bob. I already got the tag for that lotion in there. Yeah, thank you so much. The Mitchum, I got gotcha. you. Thank you, thank you. Um, You got them both. We got you down. I think the baby just, did she go out there, yes, Bob? Okay. Now I can move up. I'm so sorry, guys. Let me, there. All right. So thank you so much, Jean. And they will be... Um, I'll be, it'll be on your invoice tomorrow. So there's that one. Now, the second one is even heavier. Oh, guys, this weighs a lot. Take a look at this candle holder. Look how gorgeous that is. This, I believe, guys, is either crystal or it's lead glass. Um, it does not have... Oh, yes, it does. It has a marking. Yes, it does. Bob, I'll spell it for you. It's... Um, you already put uh, choice of starting at eight, right? Okay. Just put this name down. O-R-R-E-F-O-R-S. E-F-O-R-S. So it's O R R E F O R S, or force. Now I have heard of this maker. I believe this is crystal. Yeah, Bob just put it in the chat. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, it is heavier. It's heavier than this bowl, and this bowl is a heavy piece. Uh, these are gorgeous. Uh, they're your choice. Starting at eight, uh, you have to bid to win. Um, I'll show you the tulips again. This is the bowl. I want to show you the thickness. And it has the uh, gold gilding. I will tell you, um, I don't know on this one if this is vintage or not. 
Um, but I believe the Ore Force is. Uh, but this one, I know at least vintage pieces like this, when they did the gold gilding, usually it was done with real gold. And they lined, you know, the lips of their um, dishes and stuff and vases with it. So there's that in the tulips. And then there's the ore force. And I'm going to show you the marking. It's etched right at the top, right there. Right there. Maybe with my hand. Anyway, so if anybody's interested in either one of those two, let me know. Uh, the new pieces that I just got. You want to see it? Okay. All right. All right. So the next one is a basket, guys. This is huge. Now, um, this one, guys, I um, I love this one. It's so pretty. This one, I got to start out at $15, guys. It's a big, huge, 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 huge basket. So here we go. We're starting it out at $15. Um, it's a nice uh, wicker basket, and it is big. Uh, there's the detail. You've got that on each end, and then you've got the multicolored um bars on both sides of the basket it is really big with the big handles now that's what it looks like on the bottom this is starting at 15. i'm here to tell you you could put laundry in here you could put um use this bag to put all of your knitting um Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Um, all your knitting needles and yarn in this. Um, you could put, um, you know, a couple blankets in this and set it on your floor for decor. I see that done a lot. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit on this, guys. You could put your grandbaby's toys or your child's toys in here um, for easy access. There's so much you could do. This is so, yes, great for the beach. I mean, look how mammoth this is. This is not your ordinary basket, people. This is big. Um, I just love it. And if you, like Carol said, if you don't have a beach bag, uh, if you don't have uh, a sewing bag, if you don't have, uh, I mean, like I said, for just decor, you could put uh, toys. You could use it as storage in, in one of your rooms. Uh, maybe put your sweaters in here for the winter and, it you know, in a nice basket like that. Uh, but I just thought this was too pretty not to show you guys. Yes. I mean, seriously, your, your towel, your beach towel or your blanket. Put your beach blanket in there, your suntan lotion, um, and... Uh, you're, you could even have enough room to lay your umbrella kind of in there to carry it. I mean, it's it's big. Let me know if anybody's interested in that. Then my second item, which is um, speaking of blankets, take a look at this. We're going to start this out, guys, at 20. Wait till you see it, okay? First, I'm going to show you without taking it apart. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it looks like this is a purse. If you just look at it and you're just looking, it's got a long strap. It looks like a purse. This one's going to start at 15, guys. Did I say 15 or 20? You said 20. Oh, 20. I'm sorry. $20, guys. I'm thinking of the basket. This has got a zipper right on top, okay? Then you Velcro. You un-Velcro And look at that. It turns into a blanket. And um, 
this is going to tag. Um, this was made in China. Um, made for Target Corporation. So uh, this, it says Sun Squad right there on the tag. Oh, I love this. Now this blanket totally opens up and I'm telling you right now, it's a queen size. It looks to me like a queen size blanket. That's how big this beach blanket is. And that's exactly what it's intended for. But you fold it all up. I'll fold it back up. Uh, but I would say, well, instead of a queen, I'll say it's probably a full size. Um, does it say the size on here? Let me look. Because maybe I'm... Um, it is not saying the size. Otherwise, I would tell... Oh, yeah, it does. 60 by 72. 60 by 72. Is that a full? That's a queen. I, it seems like that's a queen. I mean, by looking at it, it looks it looks like a queen size. I'm telling you. Um, but it's a carry, uh, carry on beach blanket. And you carry it just like a purse. I mean, that's, I mean, whoever came up with that, obviously these people, they are a genius in my view. And it has that fold over um, pouch to it. I just love it. I'm going to fold it up la later. I can't fold Would it up now. Yeah. A queen's a 60 by 80. So yeah. Oh, a queen's a 60 by 80. So literally it's almost a queen size. So yeah, I would put that as, as a full size. A full size is very close to a queen size. There you go. I could tell by looking at it, it looked like a queen size just because guys, I've folded my own comforter many, many times. So, and we have a queen size. So isn't that cool? I just found this neat stuff lately and I thought, boy, I got to show these people. Okay, we're going to move on. Um, let's do this. How many is in the chat? 11 people? Uh, let's go ahead and do a giveaway. I think it's about that time. Um, Bob, do you remember how many miles you drove? Weird. Just last, uh, what, Friday? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. yeah. Okay, here, I want you to write it down on this piece of paper. Okay, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're having a giveaway for all of those people that are new, that are still hanging with me. All my giveaways are mine and mine alone. They are not YouTube affiliated. And um, what it is is um, this particular game, it's called Bob's Journey. Bob, um, the man I live with, he is a semi-driver for FedEx. No, let's just do that. We'll do, we'll do that sometime. We will. Um, but anyway, this game um, is totally, first, before we get started, you are not required to purchase anything to enter. This is totally free. It's a gift from me to you folks, uh, you know, for being in the chat, hanging out with me, uh, having a good time. Uh, whether you buy something or not, because there's no pressure to buy in my auction, um, I enjoy your company and uh, hopefully you guys have a good time. So uh, this is what it is. Uh, Bob's Journey is a game where you folks at home calculate how many miles you think he drove in one day. So right now, everybody take a guess. You only get one guess. You can only guess one time. And here's the deal. If nobody guesses my number spot on, I am going to take the next closest number that comes after my number. Let's say Bob drove 100 miles. Let's say that was the answer. By the way, it is not the answer. But let's say it was the answer and nobody guessed 100. But there was somebody that guessed 99 and somebody that guessed 101. I'm going to take the answer that guessed 101. Okay? So... Um, that's just an example. So everybody guess how many miles did Bob drive for FedEx yesterday? He worked overtime. So uh, everybody guess. Go, go, go. And then you are going to get a prize. Okay? That's how it, that's how it works. Is, 
Is my chat frozen? Oh. oh, there's Lisa's. Okay. I thought, is my chat frozen? Nobody was guessing. And I was like, uh, please, somebody guess. Please, please, please. And um, is Totally Rad still in the chat? I hope. If Totally Rad, if Helen, if any of the new people are still in the chat. There you are, Totally Rad. Um, and anybody else that was interested in that jewelry lot, um, Bob, can you put this in the chat? I am reducing the price. Uh, we're going to start it at $35 for that bag. $35 for seven pounds of um, costume, jewelry, this and that, okay? And I will probably put more in. I mean, it's chocked full. Um, so I will start it at 35 if there is anybody interested. I just uh, need to get rid of it. So um, there's one bag that has several pairs of these gold tone tassel earrings. That's in here um, as well. Just a whole bunch of this and that. And so we'll start out that jewelry lot at $35 if anybody should be interested. I'm just marking it down for a quick sale, okay? Um, but we will bid on it if anybody wants to start that bid. If not, it's totally okay. Thank you all for your guesses. This is great. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> did you see what she wrote? Uh, that's why, Carol. See, Trying now you know. Try and ignore her. <laughs> All right. So uh, I got to get out the prize. Let's get out the prize. Oh, Bob's being all technical. <laughs> you know how Bob is. We're going to be technical. Why not? Okay. So, um, I'm going to get out your choice of, um, you'll get a choice of earrings, guys, is going to be the prize. Choice of earrings. And I'm going to get out the earrings to show you if I could get them out. Tassels, tassels, tassels. Actually, I put the tassels up, so I guess it's not going to be tassels. It's going to be something else. Oh, I know. These. All right. All right, let's put stop in the chat. Everybody ready? Ready, ready? All right. Bob drove yesterday. 566 miles. 566. So I'm going to go back up here and we're going to see who came the closest. Remember, the closest that goes over just by smidge. Okay. So it was 566. I'm seeing 615. Yeah, so Lisa Jenkins, you are the winner. That is the next number after. So congratulations, Lisa. All righty, Lisa. Here is your here's your pick of earrings. I've got these gorgeous rose gold hoops. Uh, these are the large ones, uh, but they're very nice. I love them. Uh, we have, that's choice number one. Choice number two are these, uh, like crystal dangles, uh, kind of gunmetal. That's choice number two. Choice number three are, look at these. They're the little ice cream cones. Little ice cream cones. I love it. And then choice number four is these acrylic, um, like, artistic earrings. 
Yeah, they're acrylic. They're um like a red orange, like an orange red. It looks like a, it's supposed to be like yellow flower with a green leaf, maybe. I'm not sure. Ice cream cones. You got it. That's a good choice. I like those. They're so cute. All right, where's where's the tag? Lisa Jenkins giveaway. Awesome sauce. There you go. All right. Yeah, Lisa's been you speechless. <laughs> Lisa, you've got good luck on, on my channel, which is awesome. <laughs> Well, I've, I've seen so many people. And by the way, guys, there, Bob wrote that on a piece of paper. There's never any rigging at all. I'm sure you guys know that to my giveaways. Uh, usually I write down a number. We play the number game or we do trivia. I'm going to have to do trivia next. Yeah. I'm going to have to do trivia next for the next giveaway. I think so. I think so. All right, guys, let's move on. Um, let's break out some more sterling or stone or what have you. Um, this is a necklace. Um, I am going to mark it down. Um, well... Just one momento. One momento, guys. I'm trying to... I don't know what happened. Um, I've got an old stone necklace. This is not sterling. And... Um, you were over, Lisa. Um... He wrote down 566 miles, and you were the next one closest that went over. So, yes, you went over. Not by a whole lot, so you were you were close enough. <laughs> I always have to be specific and say I'll take over or I'll take under whichever way I'm doing it because if I just say who's ever closest, sometimes there's two people that are closest and it doesn't narrow it down enough. So I always have to be specific and add on there. Either I'll take the one that goes over or under and you went over. So I, that's the one I took. Uh, this stone necklace guys is going to be a buy it now for 15. I'm marking it down for a quick sale. This is that one that J cat herself made. It has many, many stones in it. We're going to start out with this soda light bar dead center and then we've got some butterscotch um um glass uh cat's eye then we've got some uh green unikite we've got some turquoise we've got some um oh i don't remember that stone right there this uh red and purple but then there's more turquoise. Um, then we've got a mossy agate, it looks like. Uh, we've got some gold stone. Uh, we've got um, the amethyst, but it's not just any amethyst. This is the chevron. Chevron amethyst, guys. Look how gorgeous that is. Uh, we've got, uh, this one looks like, uh, these two right here, I think are glass. We've got that butterscotch cat's eye. Um, we've got that bead again. That was that purple and red. Um, then we've got, um, I think a piece of Jasper right there. Uh, some more green stone. And then you've got all that turquoise. Uh, so you've got stone and glass, guys. 
Um, but you've got, like I said, everything from the sodalite to the unikite to some chevron amethyst and turquoise um, and those beautiful gold stone beads. Gold stone is a man-made stone. Um, love it. A lot of people love gold stone. I love all the different colors of gold stone. There's purple, there's green, uh, the blue gold stone, that midnight blue. <sighs> love it. A lot of people love that. Okay, guys, let's do some costume. How about it? Uh, I know I didn't uh, advertise that I would, but let's do some costume. Not everybody has a sterling or a stone budget, and I totally understand that. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Uh, let's start out with this one. I love this necklace. Jane's in the house. Welcome, Jane. And because Jane just strolled in, um, I'll go ahead. I'm going to give my announcements now. And uh, for those of you that are new and also um, my oldies but goodies, my uh, regular people, um, I'm going to give the announcements now as far as my upcoming week of auctions. And then um, I will do it at the end of the night also. So uh, this is what I have going on for the week. Uh, let's see, where are we at? There. Okay. So over here, we've got invoicing um, on Tuesday, um, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern. I am with Autumn, Autumn Grace on her channel. Wednesday, um, I am starting my auctions, guys, at 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. Please, please make note of that. Um, it will do you some good. Uh, sometimes I may be having Blandine in. Um, I've got to talk with her, and um, but nothing's official. I might be talking to some other of you resellers in the chat maybe about... Um, uh, somebody from time to time joining me on Wednesday night, uh, but 4 p.m. on my channel. Then come Thursday, Thursday, Jane, who was in the chat, Jane Newhouse. Uh, everybody, please come to my channel at 4 p.m. because Jane will be my special guest reseller. And you don't want to miss what she's got. She has beautiful, gorgeous vintage and she sells it secret for cheap. Jane has such great prices. If you like vintage items uh, such as this, guys, like a vintage plate, an egg plate. I mean, she she sells all kinds of, you know, uh, dishes, home decor, whatever, for cheap. Okay? Her prices are outstanding. Please come. 4 p.m. Eastern, my channel. And then that night, 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be on Autumn Grace's channel, okay, for her uh, weekly. And then back here, Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. So I've got a full week uh, planned. And also, please remember that every other um, Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern, um, I will be with Carol on Carol's channel. Ah, uh, and um, if you guys were here this past Thursday, we had such a great, great time. It was su such a fun, fun auction. So please join me for these upcoming auctions, will you? We have fun. I love getting these other resellers, uh, you know, to collab. It's it's always a good time. So uh, please sub to Jane if you have not. She's great. She's awesome, and uh, you'll like her, guys. You will. You're welcome, Jane. Uh, yes, it was fun. Very fun. Um, so this next necklace, we're going to start off cheap, guys. It's starting out at $7. Take a look at this necklace. Uh, this is a very funky necklace. Uh, this is like an antique gold metal necklace. And it's got this almost... Egyptian flare kind of uh, pendant going on. We've got now that uh, that is an abalone uh, inlay 
on that triangle. And then it's got the cream enamel up above it. I don't know. Does it look Egyptian to you guys? It does to me. Or maybe Indian. Maybe like an Indian flare. And it's got that like collar bar down there with the spike dangles. Isn't that awesome? This is starting at seven. Yes. Um, her um, other channel is Doggone Happy uh, Vintage. I will put, here's what I'll do. Everybody hang tight. I'm going to put her, um, let me put her link in the chat. Um, I've been missing Sandra. She used to put in my links for me. Um, here it is. I'm going to put in Jane's link right now, guys, into the chat. As soon as I link it, you guys go sub to her, will you? I know she'll appreciate that. There you go. Go sub to her, guys. That's her link, and uh, she is awesome. Amber, I didn't see you sneak in there. Amber, welcome. Missed you, girlfriend. Uh, Sandra, guys, the last I knew... Um, she's going to get a hold of me because um, uh, her and I are going to talk. Um, she's been in a lot of pain, guys. She's going to be going back to her doctor, the surgeon. It was her family doctor that passed away, but she's going to be um, going back to see her um, um, surgeon. Um, Yes, Amber, I have missed you. I love you hanging out in the chat. No, you don't have to apologize. Um, but anyway, guys, she's been in incredible pain. That's why she hasn't been active. Um, she's been sleeping or trying to, she's been in bed a lot with the pain. Um, as I told you guys before, um, she went in to get her bile duct stent taken out. And the doctor decided to leave it in. Now, it has been causing her tremendous pain to leave it in because you're only supposed to have it in like two weeks. And she's had it in for several because her surgeon, the first one, quit on her. The one that scheduled the, the surgery in the first place. And then he quit and she had to find this new surgeon and reschedule. Um, so um, they decided to leave it in because her... Her, the duct, the bile duct keeps collapsing. It closes. It has to stay open. And the only way to keep it open is with a stent. But stents aren't made for the body to keep in there. Um, so she is struggling. Um, they're trying to figure out why it keeps collapsing. Also, remember, she has a lot of masses on her um, pancreas. She did tell me that she has still not got the um, results back. She's going back to, she. they won't give them to her over the phone, the results. She has to go back in and see the surgeon. They have the results back, but I think it's this week sometime she's going back in to finally get the results of the biopsy of those tumors, those masses on her pancreas. So she is going to see her, I believe it's this week, um, her, or is it this week or did she have to wait another week? Was it August 1st? No, it was like August 10th when she was supposed to go get her results. Oh, okay. It's August 10th or was it, it was August like 1st? That. It was late. Okay, guys, I guess it's later because what's today's date? The 18th? Yeah, she isn't getting them. What was she I saying? She was supposed to She's not getting them this week. Bob's helping me out. Um they can't get her in. Do you believe this? They can't get her in and read her those results until August. I mean, they're forcing her to come in but to get the results, but they refuse to give it to her um, beforehand. And she's on pins and needles, of course, um, you know, because we don't know what these masses are. We don't know if they're benign, if they're malignant. We don't know if they're just cyst full of blood, pus, you know, water. We don't know. And um, it's killing her, you know. 
um, between waiting on pins and needles, needles, you can imagine the stress. And then she's in tremendous pain because of that stupid stent. So yeah, please, please um, remember her. Oh yeah, good. You're getting two weeks off in August. Yay, yay, yay. And thank you guys for subbing to Jane. Uh, like I said, this Thursday we will be doing a collab. And please don't miss that. Um, Amber, I don't know if you were aware, but I was telling everybody that my Wednesday nights have changed. I want you all to write it down because you don't always get the notifications. Wednesday night, I am starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. Also, Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern on my channel as well. I will be with Jane, who is in the chat. She is going to come to my channel and collab. Yeah, it is crazy that she has to wait that long, and I feel so bad. But, yes, um, I wanted to get those announcements in. And thank you guys for asking, excuse me, about Sandra, because my heart is so broken for her. Um, I can't imagine waiting all this time. They've got the results, but they refuse to tell her um, until August. And it's like she's, you know, you know, the longer she waits, the longer before, you know, they can figure out what to do with her pancreas, what, you know, if there is medicine or whatever. So, yes, exactly. Yep, Amber, yep. All right, guys. Um, so thank you all for your prayers for Sandra. Um, that's what I heard from her last. She did tell me over the phone. I just spoke to her uh, probably about, what was it, three days ago or so? I can't remember. It was about three or four days ago, and that's what she told me. She has to wait till August. Hey, Teresa. Teresa is another sweetheart, guys. Uh, if you can, sub to her. Please do. Uh, she is awesome. She collabs with Lucid lots of times and sometimes with Jane. So that's true, Jean. You got a point. If it was bad, they would tell her sooner. I would think so too. So maybe maybe that is a silver lining to that. I didn't think of that. You are so true. So, so anyways, guys, this costume necklace, uh, crescent moon, very... Uh, Indian looking or Egyptian, one of the two, I think. Maybe more Indian inspired. Uh, that one's starting out at seven, if anybody is interested. We're going to move on. Right now we're doing costume. We did show some sterling. I do have more sterling to go, okay, that we have marked down because I just want um, jewelry to go, okay? All right, the next um, Bob put in there, choice of. We're going to do a choice of. I need everybody to pay attention. Um, this is going to be choice of. Buy it now for $5 each. Aaron Proctor, welcome, welcome. Picky Nikki, thank you guys for joining me. Oh, my word. That's so awesome that you guys are here. Uh, those are another set of two um, resellers, guys. Please sub to them also. Uh, I love Aaron and, and Picky Nikki. They have... Awesome um, um, auctions, so please sub. Yeah, these are going to be choice of. Buy it now for $5 each on bracelets. Okay, everybody ready? I'm going to show you eh, about six different ones to choose from. Okay, so here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go. The first one, these are $5 each, your choice of. This is choice number one. Choice number one. Oh, look at this baby. We got Nikki already in at five. Thank you, Nikki. Look at the gorgeous. I love it. First of all, first of all, we've got three strands of pearls. And then we've got this gorgeous enamel uh, wildflower. That's a bracelet. Is that not cool? That's choice number one. Choice number two is this gorgeous... Um, uh, Multi blue colored um, glass beaded bracelet. These are all glass. Uh, we've got everything from like the uh, periwinkle blue to the cobalt blue to almost like a purple. Nice and cold, ice cold, 
I love the barrel beads. I love those ones. These are all glass. Uh, that's choice two. Choice number three is this chunky monkey. This is all howlite, and it's a lot of it. That's a lot of stone, okay? And then we're not done yet. That's choice number uh, three. Choice number four is a handmade seed beaded bracelet. This is also glass, very cold. Somebody made that with their bare two hands, guys. I think it's gorgeous. And then choice number five, not to be outdone, is this gorgeous one. This is also handmade. And this is also glass and nice and cold. So here's your choices. I'm going to show them again. And then I'm going to see which one or ones that Nikki wants. Okay, we're going to go with choice number one, which is the wildflower. That's choice number one. Choice number two is the blue glass. Choice number three is the howlite. Choice number four is the black and white chevron. And choice number five is the multicolored seed bead. So, Nikki, which one or ones would you like? Um, it is buy it now. Um, it is buy it now. Um, Amber. So you can, you can put uh five in the chat if you want to, and I'll let you pick after, uh, Nikki. Oh, you'll take them all Nikki. Okay. I've got more bracelets. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate that. I'm going to take my marker and just do it this way. This is easier. And uh, Picky Nikki, I believe I had an item and I put it on hold. I hope you didn't mind uh, because it was just one item and I didn't want to invoice you. But I have another item from previous time. So tomorrow when I invoice, I'll add it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, <laughs> I'll do it again. And uh, what I'll do is uh, uh, because I've got more bracelets that need to go. Uh, so I'll be doing this choice again, guys, because uh, I am trying really hard to get rid of my costume. Let's do that again. But this time we'll do choice of, guys. We'll do it bid style. We'll start out at five. Let's do that uh, because I've got I've got a lot to sell. And uh, trust me, I mean a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll do the uh, bracelets again because I, yeah, they need to go. My bracelets need to go, guys. I've just got too much and too much. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to start out with choice number one. Five dollars. And this is a brand new one. This is from the brand... Forever 21. Take a look at this, guys. It's a thick floral uh, bangle. Now, I'm going to measure the um, diameter because that's important. Um, you need to know if it's going to fit you, right? So this one is too... Ooh. It's um, just over two and a half. So that's a good size. Um, I can put it on, but I'm not going to right now. Um, so that's just over a two and a half. Oh, yeah, I totally understand, Nikki. I totally understand. So this is choice number one, the brand new flower, floral, flower, floral, whatever. Choice number two is this beauty. Look at that. That's choice number two. This is a rose gold. Those of you that like rose gold, you're going to like this one. Very uh, almost Victorian looking. That's choice number two. Choice number three is this gorgeous yellow. Um, I just love this one. It's um, acrylic um, and gold tone. But I love the um, it's stretch. 
I love this one. We've got Amber in at five. That's choice number three. Um, choice number four, I believe this one is glass. I will measure it. Um, yep. This is a glass beaded, um, like two strand bracelet. It has the charm that says hope in silver tone. It's a toggle, but I am going to measure it because, you know, once again, you got to know if it's going to fit you or not. Uh, size seven. So this is size seven and it looks like uh, breast cancer awareness um, in the black. This is all black glass. Uh, so that's choice number four. And then um, choice number five. Uh, this one is perfect for this season, I think. Oh, no, nope, that one's going into the craft is what that is. Never mind on that one. That would have been a nice one. We're going to go with this one. Um, this one, is this another rose gold, I think? Okay, this one, guys. Isn't this beautiful? This is a pave encrusted crystal bar bracelet. Uh, this is another chunky monkey. I love this one. Uh, this is one I'm kind of surprised didn't sell um, because it's so, it's so beautiful. Hi, baby. All right, Cleo, you're going over. There's my catwalk. Anybody who's new, you'll see that from time to time. Uh, this one is seven and a half. All right, uh, so we are going to do the countdown going once to Amber. Okay. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold to Amber. Amber, you get your choice. Uh, this is one. This is the end that starts at one. The rose gold is two. Um, the yellow is three. The breast cancer is four. And one of four. The black and the first one. You got it. You got it. And then anybody interested in any one of these for $5. Uh, very beautiful. Um you know, choices. Okay, so. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. Well, all right. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that a whole lot. I really do. Okay. Beautiful. They are so beautiful, these bracelets. But like I said, when you have too much, you have too much. They need to go. They need to go where they're going to be loved, sold, whatever. All right. We got Amber. And Amber, I also believe I have one item for you. You are welcome, Amber. You are welcome, uh, Nikki. I also believe I have one item for you that I held just because it was only one item. I'll add it to this invoice. Um, so let's put Amber for that. Hi, Kathy. Kathy's in the house. All righty. Now, um, Nikki and Amber, I know you were not here. Uh, we're going to start this out. This will be auction style. I am getting rid of this whole big bag. It's seven pounds of jewelry, and it will probably wind up being more than seven pounds. I'm this is all costume. I'm starting it out at $35 each. I did show some pieces. I can't show them all. Um but um, I will show some of them. These are everything from necklaces to bracelets. There's one scarf clip in there. There's a watch. Uh, but the rest of it is all necklaces, bracelets, uh, pendants. There might be some rings. I've got some mother of pearl. There's, there's mother of pearl. There's glass. There's acrylic. I've got an agate bolo tie in there. Um, this is just a brown 
uh, cord. That's thrown in there as well. Nothing is sterling. It's all um, a costume. That's a uh, paper. These are three, four, four or five different uh, paper mache necklaces. Um, just all kinds. Uh, there's a bag full of uh, pins. Um, these are... Uh, well, some are scatter pins, but they're just all kinds of like collector pins. Uh, I mean, this thing is, we got bracelets. One's like an Alex and Ani. There's marked and there's unmarked. Thank you so much. Well, we can count. I'm probably going to put more in there. There's seven pounds. But um, I, I have tons to get rid of, Nikki. So let's go ahead and count her down. Let's, let's just do it, guys. Right. I've got earrings in there. I mean, there's all kinds of goodness. Uh, there's some pearls. Oh, I love, there's that little panda, that crystal encrusted panda necklace. That's in there. Uh, there's a mother of pearl uh, necklace in there. Um, there's brand new. Um, necklaces and earrings, jewelry sets. Those are all brand new. Some of them were $9.99 uh, per piece. Like I said, there's earrings. Um, there's just too much in here. There's just too much to even show. <laughs> Carol. Oh, my word. All right. Thank you so much, Picky Nikki. Thank you. Thank you. There is so much in that bag. I'm telling you, I'm telling you a lot. I really appreciate that. And that alleviates my collection here by a lot. I know Bob's got to be happy. <laughs> Aren't you, Bob? Bob, do you know where my tape is? Your what? The packaging tape. I thought it was in your drawer. Um, no. It's not in my drawer. Oh, Lord. Who knows where it's at? I can't find it over here. Hi, Amy. Amy's in the chat. Can't find it. <laughs> Amber. <laughs> oh. Thank you, thank you, Nikki. Oh my gosh, I'd kiss you if I could. <laughs> Just because I needed that to go. Yeah, sure, Bob. No, I need to go to Carol's house. <laughs> Bob says he needs to make a road trip to Carol's house. <laughs> Here, Bob, you want to? Oh, I don't know. Be rude. Here. Be hey, Blandine, welcome. And you've got a new profile pic. All of us are getting new profile pics. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to encourage everybody. Uh, Kathy is the one that gave me my new profile pic. So thank you again, Kathy, for mine. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, Paula got a new profile pic. Blandine's got a new profile pic. I love it. I'm going to challenge everybody in here that hasn't done it yet. Please get you a new profile pic. I had to. Mine looked like somebody else. First of all, uh, it was an old picture, so I look younger. Um, not to say that that's bad. I'm just saying, you know, uh, that definitely um, was not me in that picture. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you, Carol. Please give me that thumbs up, guys. It'll help uh, get me noticed out there, you know. I'm just a small channel, guys. I'm trying to grow really bad. And, you know, it's easier said than done because I've, you know, I've got heavy competition, to be honest, which um, I love. I mean, I've got many resellers in my chat right now. And, you know, I love all of you, and I love going to your auctions. I wish I could get to everybody's auctions, but, of course, it's almost, almost impossible. I say almost because it's not impossible. But, uh, I, I mean, it's impossible in one day to get to everybody's because there's so many. All right, guys, we're going to show more costume. Okay? Um, 
We are going to start this out at $3. $3. Here we go. Um, it, everybody, it's up for bid. Uh, this is that beautiful rose, uh, that molded rose necklace. I love this one. It's got the carved beads. Uh, this is a bid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, starting bid at three, guys. We got these beautiful pink, pale, pale pink uh, bicones. I love this necklace. So feminine. And then take a look at the extender. It's got that gorgeous uh, bicone bead. If I could get my fingers out of the way. Isn't that pretty? I just thought it was too pretty. Peach pot. Oh, my word. Uh, Amy, yes. Amy only lives. Bob, did you calculate how far Mishawaka is from About us? 83 miles. About and 83 miles, ice. Amy. I definitely got to meet you, Amy. You're too close not to meet. I you and Amanda Parrott. Hi, honey. You want to come over here? Come here, Cleo. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Okay. She's just walking across. Fine. Be that way. All right, this one uh, starts at three if anybody's interested. Oh, man, peach pie, are you kidding? Oh, that sounds divine. In one word, divine. Peach cobbler, peach anything. I mean, peach really. Peach Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bob wants peach snaps. Angel, oh, I want to do, do my peach pie moonshine again. Of course you do. Oh, hey, you have an amber and tree. Oh, Amber's in at three. Thank you, Amber. Let's go ahead and count her down since there wasn't a, um interest in that one. Thank you so much, Amber. I love the carvings on this one. It's so feminine. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I was saying earlier, um, I got to play with my grandbaby yesterday. Uh, my daughter and the baby were up and we stayed in a hotel we swam in the pool, and uh, she gets so excited now in the pool. Um, and it was a little bit cold. It wasn't totally heated. I actually liked it. It wasn't cold, but it wasn't warm. It was, like, cool. So it was enough to cool me off. Uh, I wish, I'm telling you, I wish she was here right now. She's so cute. I know every grandparent thinks um, their grandchildren are the cutest and the most gorgeous and all that stuff. But I don't know. I I have so much fun playing with the grandbaby. She's just awesome. And I told my daughter, I can't wait till you have a little boy. I need a little boy. I only have a little girl. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. I just want tons of grandkids. I want my kids to go loco. Uh, in the noggin up there. And I want them to just have like a hundred kids each. You know what I mean? I, I want to be one of those grandparents that on Christmas or Thanksgiving, I want to have one of those great big farmhouse table, um, dining room tables full of the grandkids, full of nothing but a sea of grandkids. That would be my dream. That would be my dream. I would love it. Um, and all my kids are just, uh, they're like, Mom, no. <laughs> I'm like, can't you have 10 at least? Just have 10. Round it, round it to an even number there, 10. I think that's a good even number. Okay, we're going to start this next one out at, um, now this one, I'm not going to get what I paid for it. Uh, but we're going to start out this one, guys. Um, let's start this one out at 10. Okay, this will be auction style. You can bid on it. Um, I absolutely love this one. Now, this one is not sterling, but it is Mark 925. I just want to emphasize that. Um, it might be plated, but it is not sterling. I, I don't even know that it's plated. Uh, but we're going to start it out at 10. Um, and this is a squash blossom uh, with a stone in there. Um, now, this is not a turquoise stone, okay? Um, I think it might be glass. It's not turquoise, though, guys. It does have the sawtooth bezel. Isn't that cute? Uh, those of you that can't, like me, 
and you can't afford an actual real sterling turquoise squash blossom because I can't afford it. Um, this is a cheaper way to go. Uh, and it's, it's so cute. I love this one. If anybody wants it, this is uh, stamp 925 back there. Like I said, uh, I believe maybe plated. It is definitely not sterling though, guys. I just wanted to point that out. It does have a lobster claw clasp. I will measure it. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get a squash blossom. Maybe Bob will get me it for Christmas. Uh, this is 18 okay. inches. Not a bug. Oh. Not a bug. Don't you dare get me a bug. <laughs> So there's that one. That one starts at 10, very unique. Um, that's one I had bought for myself uh, many moons ago. Uh, so there's that. Let's move on. This one's going to start out at three. This is another necklace. Like I said, guys, I just want stuff to go at this point. Um, this is a, uh, what are you? Multi-chain. Uh, Carol, this is the tassels. The tassels. This is going to start out at three. Multi-chain necklace. Let me get it to where it's at least presentable. I don't know what's going on here. Heavens, come on. Cooperate, please. Uh, poop. Come on. There we go. I think I got it. You just got to talk dirty to it. Okay, here we go, guys. This is a multi-chain necklace. It's starting at three. Isn't this beautiful? Um, it's a gold tone chain. I'll go through all the different chains. Uh, this one has the little itty-bitty dainty uh, black dingle beads. Then we've got this chain that's a uh, twisted rope style chain. Then we've got this chain that has the little gold tone disc. And then the bottom chain has the tassels, the cream tassels. And no, Carol, these are not to put on your boobies. <laughs> this goes around your neck, though, okay? So there's that. Um, I think it has, does it have an extender? There we go. It does have an extender. Isn't that cute? So that one starts at three. Hmm? <laughs> Carol. <laughs> I know. I just I just ruined your party, didn't I? You can't what? Yeah, all my cats are being good and laying down. This is weird. <laughs> Amy. Okay, this, guys, this is one that I almost didn't part with. This is one. Um, this one's going to start out at 10, guys. Uh, this one I do have to start out a little bit more. Uh, but this one is so worth it. It's so worth it. This is gorgeous. I know. I'm a big killjoy. Usually it's Bob who's the killjoy. Imagine that. Uh, this one is going to start out at 10, guys, but uh, it is marked. Oh, man. What's the marking on this? VJ. Oh, uh, Michelle told me. She looked it up for me. I forget, guys, that maker's name, but Michelle Loin looked it up for me. I just forget. Look at this gorgeous, chunky cross necklace. Let's start with the cross, shall we? I mean, are you kidding? Look at the amber and butterscotch colored stones on this baby. Uh, very, almost medieval looking. Like Victorian, like old Victorian looking. And then you've got the amber colored beads. You've got the uh, caged metal beads. Oh, man. And it's super long. It can go right over the head. Or you could double it. 
however you want. Uh, uh, VJ. VJ. Yeah, and I forget who made it, but it goes right over. I mean, this is, come on, this is, this is nice. I, for me, I would double it. I don't like it hanging that low, but hey, uh, to each his own. Um, you could leave it like that. It does fit over my head. It's getting caught in all my hair, but uh, boy, I love this one. Uh, those of you that are jewelry makers, this would be a great one to even uh, turn into a rosary. It'd be so beautiful. Uh, but there's that. I love it. Look at the sparkle power on that. Yeah, Joyce, this is... Uh, every time I look at this, I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I have so much stuff, guys. Yeah, might be, Carol. That is the trick, Carol. Uh, I'm probably not that talented. <laughs> you know? Uh, that takes some talent, I would think. I would think so. All right. We are going to do not that. We're not going to do that one. Come on. Him Oh, we got this guy. I've got a little Indian. Oh, you guys are going to love this. This is another one. Bob, tell me I shouldn't keep this. I mean, don't tell me I shouldn't. But look. No, you shouldn't keep it. BJ Jewelry Vision. It's not given a name or anything. I know somehow Michelle found it. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little Indian. And he is going to start out, guys, at eight. Eight dollar roonies. And he's adorable. Oh, he's cute. Handmade. This is another one. I don't know why I'm selling it because I should keep it. It is 17 inches. And every time Bob hears me say that, he cringes because he knows how tempted I am. Look at Look at the little Indian boy. Is it an Indian boy or a girl? I can't tell. But look. Look. Is he not the cutest in the world? I think he is. Uh, green and white. Uh, he's saying, hi. How are you? How you doing? Oh, my gosh. He's on a silver tone chain. And he's adorable. I know. This is something like a little kid would probably wear, but I think it's cute. Okay. So there's that one. That one starts out at 8, if anybody's interested. He's cute. Nice and Dorito orange colored. Let's do another... Uh, let's do another bracelet. This one, guys, we're going to start out at five. This one is so cute, too. Start out at five. Let me put it in the chat. There we go. Now, this is a bracelet. Yes, that's what he's saying. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Look at this bracelet. Or you could use it as a headband. That would be cute. Look at it. It's got all these beads. Uh, uh, how many strands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strands on this bracelet. Are you kidding me? Uh, we've got chain. We've got blue cord. We've got um, like a vegan leather maybe. We've got crystals. Uh, we've got... These might be glass. Let's see. Are these acrylic? Something's glass. because Oh, this is glass. This might be the glass. Look at the amber colored. Oh, man. We got Nikki in at five. This is gorge. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, let's measure this one because um, it's got an extender. So it could go. Let's see. Let's start at the smallest. It could be... 
eight and a half, and it could go. Ooh, it could go. Is this an inklet? And it could go to ten and a half, possibly an inklet. Oh, it'd be an inklet for me. Um, the only part of my body that's small, guys, is my wrist. Certainly not my mouth. <laughs> so there's that. I love it. That one is super awesome. We've got Amy in at six. I love this. Let's see. I'm going to put it. I'm going to see if I can wear this, guys. I'm going to put it over. It's too beautiful. Oh, i got to do it the other way. Well, how? I need bo Bob's in the bathroom, too. Way to go, Bob. There we go. I'm going to fasten it myself, guys. I'm going to get this on because I want to show you. There we go. We got it. Look at Look at this. I mean, it's a one and done. You know what I mean? I'm trying to mash out. Let me get out all the... There we go. All the... Picky Nicky is out. We are going to count it down to Amy. <laughs> trying to get it out. All right. We're going to go once to uh, Amy. I'll hold it up here. Uh, we're going to go twice. Last and final call. I guess it's not nice to cover up like that. And we will put sold in the chat. I love the amber color mixed with that blue. I think that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Amy. Amy Joe, Amy Lynn. Amy Renee. I don't know your middle name. I'm just guessing. All right, guys. Um, I think... It is time for another giveaway. And this time, I'm going to do a trivia question because I just feel like it. That's why. Okay? I hope you have your thinking noggins on. If that's the only one you got. I mean, let's hope. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Uh, this is going to be a trivia question about my life. Okay? So everybody get ready. Now... You can only guess once, okay? So here's the question. Uh, for those that are new, it's trivia. So basically, it's just a trivia question I'm going to ask you folks, and you just have to guess. Um, it's about my life, and it's not anything that necessarily any of you would know. Uh, but this one, uh, some of you do know, those of you who have watched my videos. Okay, so here we go. What is the name of my granddaughter? I will give you a big hint. It starts with the letter E. Go, go, go. What is my granddaughter's name? It starts with the letter E. Okay. You only get one guess and one guess only. And I will fill in her name. Um when I put stop in the chat, okay? Everybody guess her name. One name and one name only. It starts with an E. I had to narrow it down. I can't just say, hey, guess her name, and, you know, that'd be too mean. I mean, there's many letters in the alphabet, so, you know, I want, I want you guys to... Lose your mind over that, but uh, hey, Hollis is in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think everybody's guessed who's going to guess. And um, today's um, giveaway this time around 
is going to be a bag full of earrings. And it's got, it's all a bunch of little studs. Um, we've got little red ones. We've got little, uh, the rest of them are gold tone. There's a star with a rhinestone. There's little ball studs. Okay. So you're getting a few pairs of earrings, little studs. You know, if you've got a second or third hole or fourth or 18th in your ear and you want to jazz them up, there you go. All right. I'm going to put stop in the chat. Here we go, guys. And I will give you the answer to my granddaughter's name. All right. Her name is Emma. Uh, my daughter's name is, well, her God-given name is Emmanuel, and we call her Emmy for short. That's my daughter's name. And she named her daughter Emma. So uh, you were very close with the Emily. You were very close, very close. So since no one got that right, which is okay, it's okay because we're going to do a number game. Let me, just a second, I'm going to write my number down. Give me one momento. Okay, how many do we have in the chat? Okay. So I need you guys to give me a number between the numbers 1 through 30. One number and one number only. Uh, please, if you duplicate the person above you who got in there before you did, please remove your number before you put in a new number. Also, just like the other time with the other number game, uh, Bob's Journey, I'm going to take the number that comes after my number if you don't guess it uh, spot on. And so whoever wins, whoever does win is going to get, you're going to get this little uh, bag of uh, earrings, okay? So everybody get your guess in, okay? Yeah, my granddaughter's name is um, Emma, and uh, she is almost two years old, guys. I can't believe it. Um, she is turning to uh, August 26th. And um, it's just like it's flown by. Um, I was there when my daughter gave birth. I, I got to watch her being born. Uh, my first and only time ever watching a soul being born. And it is the most miraculous, beautiful, um, sometimes horrific, <laughs> um, vision you could ever have, um, to happen in your life and experience, you know? Um, but it was so almost spiritual, you know, being with my daughter when she gave birth. Um, it does make me feel old. It did that day for sure. But, uh, oh man, I love her to pieces. She's so cute and beautiful and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I just hope my kids just break out and bust out and have a ton of grandkids run around. I would love it. I'd be happy. I would, I would. All right. I'm going to put stop in the chat. And tonight's winning number is number 29. Number 29, you are my winner. There is no 29. There is nobody that guessed over. So the closest person uh, to the 29 is Carol at 25. So Carol, you are tonight's winner. So yeah, that's, by the way, guys, I, I know I said it in a uh, couple recent auctions that the third option, if nobody... Um, guesses my number and it's right at the tippity top like that. So nobody guessed over. I do then fall back and take the number that comes closest. So there you go. That is going to Carol.
Congrats. You are welcome. Okay, guys. All right. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do another bracelet. Then I'm going to show some sterling. And then I'm going to show some other stuff. I've still got other stuff. I am going to do a recap of some of the this and that that uh, people did miss. Um, this next one is going to start out at five. Hmm. Oh, okay. I will do that, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so this one, guys, is uh, going to start out at five. And this is a magnetic bracelet. Just uh, magnetizes like that. And this is another uh, multi-strand bracelet. It's uh, black and gray. It's like a waxed, waxed, waxed cord with that, um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Detail to it. I'm trying to get these to sort of line up maybe. I don't know. But they look... Oh, you want the beach bag? You got it. Thank you. Okay. The basket, right, Carol? You want the basket? Or did you want the, the beach bag? The wicker one. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I showed this earlier, guys. This big, huge basket. So awesome. And let me write that down. Carol. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, now, that one was the 20, right? 15. Yeah, that one was 15. It was the blanket that was, yeah. I gotcha. Cool, cool, Carol. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 15. Awesome. So this bracelet, guys, is like a waxed corded uh, bracelet that is magnetized. Right there, you see it. So it's several strands, and it's got the gold tone with it. I'm going to measure, because this one, yeah, this is uh, right at seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, it is a Moses basket. Isn't that cool? It's so big and awesome. And I know Carol goes, she goes to the beach a lot lately um, with Steve. And um, they go looking for shells and hang out, and it's great. So there's that one, guys, if you are interested. That one starts out at five. Very different bracelet. Um um, it is magnetized, but it is uh, a bit different than the everyday bracelet that you see, you know. <sighs> Trying to close it back up. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple more um, sterling pieces. And um, I'm starting these out on a lower um, price point, guys. Um, these are pieces I just want to get rid of. They're very beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just pieces that did not sell before. So um, I'm starting them out at a lower price point, and we'll see if we can uh, get any takers. Uh, this next one is a liquid silver necklace. It is sterling. It has been tested. This is not quite 15 inches, so it's dainty. Uh, but it's so beautiful. Um, almost 15 inches. Yep. This was this one's going to start at um, $35, guys. I had this one higher, but I'm marking it down. Uh, this one has little turquoise um, um, pieces to it. And then it's got the little uh, sterling dangly bits. Okay. Okay. It is liquid silver. Uh, those of you that don't know, liquid silver is little skinny barrel beads. 
of the silver and they are movable, flexible. Um, they just put them all together. They're not hand knotted or anything in between. And uh, this particular one has turquoise with the little dangles on this ring right there. And here's the barrel clasp. Most all uh, the liquid silver has barrel clasp. It's, it's really rare if you see it with a shepherd's hook. Sometimes you do because uh, most liquid silver is vintage, um, which is another thing. This definitely is vintage, guys. Um, I don't know if this was uh, Native American made or anything like that, guys. I just wouldn't know. I wouldn't even know. Um, but, yeah, it is really pretty. It is uh, sawtooth bezeled, each and every stone. Um, and uh, I tell you what, as small as those stones are, that would take, that would take a little bit to uh, make. It, it would, <laughs> that would be a tedious job to make one of these, but they're so beautiful and they feel like silk on you. So there's that. Let's show some more. Like I said, I'm marking down, marking down. This one I am going to mark down. We're going to start it out at 30. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, pearl and marcasite, which I don't think you can go wrong on either, can you? Uh, this is 15 inches long. I'm starting it out at 30. Uh, this is marked, and I will be showing you the markings. It is marked 925. Um, nine two five and then um the CW marking. Okay, so it's this one guys starting at 30. We've got the pearl and the marcasite. This is on a serpentine chain, uh very smooth. Um this has got a big big pearl right there. It's a big one. And uh, here's the back. Is It is open. And the marking is on the back of the bale, which I will show you. But I'll have you take a look. I have looked at the marcasites on this, and they are all there. Um, and they sparkle really, really well. Those little chips of stone all over in that. Really nice, nice uh, chain. Like I said, it is serpentine. So now I'm going to show you the markings. We're going to start with the pendant. Now it is important to know that both the pendant and the chain are sterling. Sometimes you get sterling chains where the pendant is not uh, sterling. Um, so it's it's good to find out. 925, uh, the CW is upside down, but that's what it says right there on the back of the pendant. I'll show you the back of the pendant. Very beautiful. It does have um, some patina, which is natural. Now, the 925, you're not going to be able to read on the finding. I'm just going to show you that it's in that little uh, bubble. Oh, boy, we're getting a flash here. But it's in that little bubble on the finding. You just There's no way you're going to be able to see that. Um, but that's a beautiful necklace if anybody's interested. I've marked that one down to 30. Uh, it's a good, good um, type of a pearl necklace to have. Okay, we're going to move on. Remember, I do have some sterling uh, hoops that are for sale. Um, they are $15. Uh, buy it now. If you are into hoops, and I know not everybody is. Um, this one, guys, I've got Laramar and um, Marcasite. I've shown a lot of Marcasite tonight, but I happen to have some, so why not show it? Uh, this one is 17 and a half inches long. And let me get my eye and I'll tell you what it says. 925GC. 925GC. Um, and this is 17 and a half inches long. 
And um, now this one, guys, I have to start out at 45. I cannot go any lower than that. Um, and as you know, Laramar is uh, a very expensive stone. Um, whether you get them just to even just a tumble, uh, and they're pretty expensive. But this is Laramar meets Marcasite in one pendant. Now, this is the first and the only pendant I've ever seen where you have Laramar with Marcasite. I see every other stone with Marcasite except this one. This was the first time I'd ever seen it. So I would think that this is a uh, more of a rare thing to find, these two elements together. But it is really, really pretty. A nice dainty um, necklace. It is marked on the back of that pendant. So here's this. Right there on the back. And... Um, <clears throat> There's that beautiful Laramar. I will say this Laramar um, leans a little bit more green, green blue than the more powdered blue color of the Laramar, but it is Laramar. It's a genuine stone. Um, I don't want you to think that it's any less genuine. It's just that it, it leans more that color. All right, guys, um, let's... Let's do some, let's change it up. Um, what else did I have? Oh, let me ask you guys, is anybody looking for a plush lot? I think I have a couple plush lots for sale. If anybody wants any, please put it in the chat. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get them out unless somebody's interested. But, Bob, can you get that... Um, Aldi's bag right there with the yellow with the in that box. I have a kid's uh, blanket comforter set that I'm going to show next. Um, this is a um, Minion. Um, I don't know. This is a Minion um, set. Oh, maybe I won't. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to show, you know what? I'm going to have to show those another time. I don't remember if I uh, got these washed. Let's put those back and get them washed. I'm going to hold off on that. I have a minion um, set. I'll be showing another time, guys. I don't want to show it now because I'm just not sure. Um, I don't want to show anything that hasn't been washed. It's just how I am, how I work. I don't know. Call me cuckoo, but... Um, I don't like to uh, show things that aren't washed yet. So we'll just hold off on that one for right now. Oh, <laughs> I hear that, Lisa. <laughs> Yeah, aren't hot flashes? They're the worst. Um, oh, these are pretty much dry. Okay. I have a four-piece um, cloth napkin set. And these are hand-stitched. Um, um, these are going to start out, guys, at $10, uh, which is a great, great deal. It really is. And these are what these are. These are um, cloth napkins that somebody stitched with love, these little um, teacups. And the teacups have these flowers on them, and they're stitched all the way around in this pretty blue. Uh, this one has pink. This one has purple in the flower. Um, there's another pink one. And then um, the last one I have is red. Aren't they beautiful? Um, 
I just think they're so beautiful. Uh, somebody did such a great job. So I wanted to show them to you. Uh, this is part of the this and that that I'm selling tonight. A four-piece napkin set. Uh, I love this for when you're having tea uh, with the girls, maybe on a luncheon date. We've got Love Hollis in at 10. Thank you, Hollis. I mean, I just think they're gorgeous, and they're stitched all the way around the outside. I love that. Uh, perfect, like I said, for a uh, luncheon date with the girls. Get your little uh, teacups and saucers out. Let's go ahead and mark her down. So all the flowers are a different color. Well, there's two pink, one purple, and one red. But I wish I had um, more of these. I just thought they were so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Bob's here. Uh, Hollis, you missed it. Uh, Carol had me kiss him live in front of all of you. And you're still here. Uh, many of you probably threw up. I mean, love Hollis, you missed it. <laughs> Thank you so much. We could do it again. <laughs> Bob says we could do it again. Well, we got to make sure the audience stays with us. <laughs> Plantine says no. <laughs> uh, all right. So let me, let's put that over there. I got a pair of shoes, guys, and I just picked up these shoes. And I thought somebody might like them, so I'm going to show them to you. There's still just a little bit here. You put them back on the dryer. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So these, let me see what size they are. Nice. Size nine. Yeah, I know. They're nice. Um, these are women. And these are in mint. I mean mint condition. I am starting these out at $8, guys. These are size nine. And these are suede slip-on shoes for women. These are women's shoes, and these are by Wranglers. Um, they have the, let's do it this way. They have the memory foam. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it is genuine leather. So this is real suede, guys, and it is nice. Um, they don't even look war at all. Slip-on um, suede shoes, guys. Size 9. Um, yeah, they don't even look worn. That's just a little bit of the glue run right there um, that they had on there. But other than that, I'm showing you the shoe. It's in mint condition. Mint, mint. Um, they are real suede. And uh, there's the bottom once again. They are like slip resistant. Um, if, um, let's say you're a nurse and you need black shoes um, that are non-slip, these would be great for a nurse because they are, um, uh, they do have the memory foam. Hey, Anitra and Cindy, welcome, welcome. Um, this part you know, kind of curled over, but you can, you know, get your foot in it. It's other than that. I mean, like I said, it's in mint condition and these are suede and they are by Wrangler. If anybody is interested in those, um, I will show you again. I have this dish, uh, starting at $8. It's a bowl. It's a uh, glass. Um, I think. I don't know if it's crystal or glass, but uh, I would say weight-wise it feels more like probably glass. And it has these beautiful uh, carved tulips in the frosted glass uh, with the clear, and they are um, texturized. Isn't that beautiful? 
It has the gold gilding around the lip of the um, bowl. And it's pretty thick. If you see how thick that is, it's not an ashtray. Um, oh, you were busy? Oh, okay, Hollis, I understand. So there's that if anybody's interested. I just wanted to show uh, the folks that did not get to see it before. Okay, I'm going to show this, and uh, we're going to do this next one just for a buy it now. Okay, we're just going to do a buy it now. Buy it now for $5. And what this is is a little, like, makeup bag. Um, actually, it's kind of big. Or a whatnot bag. It's a chevron pattern in, in the blue and white with the, uh, like, faux leather uh, straps. And it's just a pouch uh, made out of, like, linen. That's what the material is, like linen. And it's a pretty deep pouch. And you put the straps through and just uh, uh, snap it back down. And it could be perfect for your makeup or... Um, for your desk, like to put your pencils and pens in or whatever. Jewelry holder, there you go. For the dish, you mean, the bowl? Yeah. Yeah, these these definitely come in handy for jewelry. I will tell you that. Uh, but this pouch, literally whatever you want to stick in it, um, you can. Here's the back. It's got a seam. Uh, this is five bucks. Just, uh, and uh, um, it was new off the tag but it is brand new nobody used it gotta drink my water need my water also i am gonna do these two dishes uh i'm marking them down these are gonna be buy it now for uh five dollars each and this is gonna be choice of choice of guys um, you just tell me whether you want the green or the clear. We have this dish, this glass dish, um, in like the olive green color. It's got the two big flowers in the back. So you've got that. And then the second dish is even bigger. It's a clear, deep dish. And it also has flowers. Uh, these are $5. Buy it now. And don't you worry. I'll wrap these up uh, with care, and they will get to you. So if anybody's interested in either one of these uh, dishes, please let me know, okay? All right. All right, guys. I think I'm going to show some um yeah let's do that let's show some um costume rings okay i have costume rings for sale and um so yeah let's let's just do that okay so this one um I'm going to have to measure them. Let me get them out because. I'm trying to get them all out. Okay. We're going to do. Um, okay. Thank you, Amber. I got you. Thank you so much. Okay. Amber is going to get the green dish. I appreciate that. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? You going through? There you go. Uh, my cat heard that it's uh, dinner time. She heard Bob getting out the package. You are welcome. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to show some rings. Like I said, they are costume rings, and I don't believe any of them have any um, markings in them. But uh, we'll try to see what you guys think. Um, this one is going to start out. First, let me get the size. This one is size 7. We are going to start it out at $8. Oh, this is a pretty one, guys. So it's size 7. You can see right there. Uh, take a look at this beauty. This is a gold tone ring that's got pave encrusted crystals halfway around the band. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, I can't wear a size 7 because it's too small there and it's too big here. So it doesn't work for me, but it's got to work for one of you ladies out there. Isn't that beautiful? Halfway around those beautiful sparkly pave encrusted crystals, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Oh, man. Let's talk about sparkle power. Starting out at 8, if anybody's interested in that one. All right. I'm going to put... Where's my marker? There it is. I'm going to put a size 7 on that so I can remember. All right. We'll put that one up. Okay. Next. Oh, this is a funky one. Um, this one is a smaller one. It's a size... Ooh. I would say six and a quarter. Size six and a quarter. We're going to start it out at five. Oh, man. Talk about unique. <laughs> this one. Oh, this one, guys. This is fascinating to me, if nothing else. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> she says, oh, heck, I like it. <laughs> uh, we're going to count down uh, Lisa, going once to Lisa. Oh, Lisa, you made me laugh. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just, you could just put sold on it. Thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> ah, heck. Oh. Hi, Cleo. Are you back again? She was co congratulating you, Lisa. All right, you guys ready for this? This one starts at $5. It's a size, what I say, six and a quarter. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Look at this ring. This is a funky ring. I've never seen anything like it. Now, you can wear it up like this where it looks almost like the Pope's hat that goes up in a triangle. Uh, it'd be a very colorful uh, Pope's hat. I don't know. What do you call that? A crown? It's a hat. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, you either can uh, rock with it this way or this way. Uh, I will show it to you. Isn't that wild? $5 starting out. Okay? So it's going to take up most of your ring, finger, or um, whatever finger you put it on. Or you can have it that way. I just can't get it. It takes almost my complete pinky. If you have it on a pinky finger, I will tell you that. So I guess maybe this way would look better. Isn't that funky? It's just enamel. I just thought I had to show it to you. Never seen anything quite like that. Probably never will again either. Pretty funky. All right. The next one, I have shown this one more than once. Um, this one, guys, I do have to start out at $15. Um, because this was a handmade piece by Lydia herself. Um, this is size six and a half to size seven and a half. 
it is you can adjust it one complete size um but it is the wrong size for me it goes that far on my finger because i'm a size eight i had bought this for me but it doesn't fit um she made it herself those of you know lydia she's a reseller in the community i love this i love this ring i love the band um and she had gotten the Swarovski like crystal beads they're in there guys if you see them that's where all that sparkle power is i have to start this out at 15. um she made it i love this ring of course it looks better on the ring finger uh, but I cannot wear it as is because it's too small. I know. I love this one. And I didn't want to give any of her stuff up, which I never have. But this one doesn't fit me. And I feel like somebody ought to take this and love this. Uh, she puts a lot of work into it. Um, she is just, she can make these beautiful rings. She really can. And they always turn out amazing. But I have to start that one out at 15. You guys know. Um, this next one, let me see what size. Oh, this is adjustable. This is an adjustable one, guys. Um, this came out of my personal collection. We are going to start this out at 10. This is adjustable. Uh, take a look at this one, guys. I've had this ring for a while now. I have loved it. It is not sterling. Um, it looks plated to me. Um, I, I don't think it's even sterling plated. Uh, I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is, guys. But it is adjustable. This is adjustable, and I love it. I like it on my third finger. Um, these uh, stones in here, I will tell you, um, I don't know on these ones. I don't know. I don't think I don't think they're real stone, but uh, I guess they could be. They don't feel real cold. They're barely cool to the touch. But uh, this came out of my personal collection, um, and um, I got to start it out at ten. It is adjustable. Uh, it's a big ring. I love these kind of rings because I think they look beautiful on every woman. You know what I mean? They they just do. I, I don't know if a woman they wouldn't look good on. Um, and a lot of women like that that style of ring, if you will. Okay, we're going to go on to the next ring. Remember, these are costume. We're going to go on to the next one. Um, this one also is a smaller guy. This is about a six and a half. We're going to start it out at five. Let's start it out at three. This is a brand new ring. I'm going to start it out at three, guys, but it is just costume. It's a brand new rose gold uh, double layered ring. It has a circle right here in the band. It is six and a half. We're just going to start it out at $3. The only person that's wore it is me just now putting it on my finger. But other than that, nobody's wore this ring. Obviously, it would look better on an actual one of the longer fingers, but I can only get it that far. But it is a rose gold, just a costume piece, nothing um, real fantastic, but it is pretty. If you're into the rose gold, that's that's a nice one. Okay, we're going to go on to the next. The next one I have is a sterling ring. This is sterling. It is so cool. I love this one. I got to look for the mark, guys. There it is. I think it says 925-S-T-E-R for the word sterling. I think that's what it says. Yeah. So it says 925, then it says S-T-E-R for the word sterling. And this is a size six and three quarters. And I am going to start it out at 25. So this is a sterling ring. What it has in it, this is a heart that has uh, crushed, um, 
I think it's yeah, I think it's crushed turquoise. I know it's turquoise, but I think it's crushed uh, inlay. And then on the side, if you notice, there's a heart right there, and there's the bottom. This is a cute little pinky ring. If anybody's looking for a cute little pinky ring, but you want a sterling one, um, but you want a dainty one because it is your pinky, uh, this would be a very cute, cute um, style to go with, with the hearts. I will show you the back. And that's where it's stamped, guys. It says 925 stir right back there. I don't think I'm going to be able to have you guys see this. Right back there, that's the best I can do. Of course, there's a lot of patina going on in there. Uh, but that is a cute one, and that's part of my sterling finds. Yeah, isn't it nice, Lisa? So there's that one. We're going to continue. Uh, what else did I have? Let's do this costume ring. This is a size 7. Um, I'm going to start this one out at $5. I love this one. Unfortunately, it does not fit me. Hi, book. How are you? Oh, so you got to watch your um, granddaughter being born. Isn't it great? Oh, I love it. I, I just, it, 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 you know, I told my daughter again yesterday, my grandbaby needs, she needs a little baby brother. Uh, there's this one, guys. This is done in the um, black, the black metal there. Uh, this is just costume, but I thought it was pretty. Um, that's how it's going to look on your finger. And we're going to start it out at five. Did you get that in there, Bob? Okay. This is size seven, starting at five. It's just a costume ring, guys. Uh, but it is real cute if you guys uh, like costume rings like that. Okay, so I still have this. Um, this is going to be a buy it now for $6. This is a clutch. It's a silver tone clutch. And it's got the little uh, circle lever right there. You pull up on it, and then it pops out. And um, this is for all your cards and your money when you don't want to carry a big purse. You can see the compartments. Um, they open right up. It's got a zipper compartment along with card compartments. Um, that's for your license right there. Um, really, really nice. It has a hair on it. Well, oh, there. And then you put it through the hole again, and then you push down. That's all you do. It's just a little clutch uh, silver tone purse. Um, maybe when you're going out for a night and you want a nice little dress purse, but you don't want to pay a lot. All right. Um, okay. I am going to close off the night. Um, I need my soaps over there. I'm going to close off the night, guys, with showing my all-natural soaps, okay? Um, I sell two different soap lines. They are to those that are new to my channel. Um, I sell an Australian line of soaps and an American line of soaps, and they are the cat's pajamas, I'm telling you. Um and I'm not just saying that. There, um, many of my people in the chat they have uh, totally used these, and they love them. I'm going to show my American line first. Um, they are two different prices. They are buy it now um, for. Um, are these all of them? The American. Okay. 
Um, these are buy it now for eight dollars each. Um, so if you are interested in one, when you see one of the scents that you want to try out, just put eight in the chat and then tell me which scent you want. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let me get these all. I'm going to do this kind of by putting them. Okay, so um, I'm going to start showing these one by one, and I will tell you how many I have or that I'm pretty sure I, I have. Um, let me... Bob, you want to take off those shoes, and I'm just going to set this on there. Yeah. I think that'll be easier. Oh, man, I can smell them from here. Whew, they smell so good. All right. Oh, that's a big basket. Uh, hold on. I'm starting to tape. Okay. All right. So we're going to start out with this one, and I think I have a total of five of these ones. Um, I'm going to tell you what they have in them. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the Unscented. Now, this one is made with nothing but goat's milk, okay? Um, these are approximately four ounces because they are hand poured. Um, the weight varies. Uh, the woman that I get them from, she does everything from making it to hand pouring it to cutting them, to packaging them, to shipping them. She does it all. She's amazing. So the unscented only has goat's milk. Um, and these soaps, if you have any skin conditions like psoriasis, like eczema, like um, chicken skin, which is what I have, the the bumps that are uh, look like uh, zits on your arms and legs, um, um, mine is from, um, like a gluten intolerance. Um, that's usually what you get them from, but, um, these unscented soaps can help, um, they can help, um, reduce, if not take away your skin conditions completely. Um, they do help with itching and irritation. If you have sensitive skin, maybe you're just completely sensitive to soaps, please try these soaps. Um, I encourage you to. They will uh, definitely help you. Uh, but I have five, uh, possibly six. So if you want the unscented bar of soap, just put eight in the chat and put the letter U and then tell me how many you want of them. Okay? Okay. So let's go on to the next. Now, the next one is the blue coconut cream. It looks like this. Um, now, all these other scented ones, they have cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, uh, goat's milk, and then the fifth ingredient is the scented oil. In this case, um, it is the blue coconut cream, and they are essential oils. Um, so that's what this one looks like. Blue coconut cream. Uh, this is one of my most popular scents. Um, it smells straight up like a bottle of suntan lotion. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. So I have, I think, two of those. Then... I have many scents, guys, so um, trust me, I have many. This is the Green Apple Explosion. I have two of these. Nikki wants the blue coconut um, cream soap. You got it. Thank you, thank you. I have many scents to choose from, guys, and they are terrific. Um, you know how after you wash your body and then you put lotion on, how soft your skin is? Well, you know when you don't put on lotion on your body, your skin's really dry? Well, when you use these bars of soap, it's like afterwards and after you dry off, it's like you have lotion on your body when you don't. 
So if you forget to put on lotion, um, it's okay when you're using these soaps because they make your skin that soft. All right, we're going to do Picky Nicky in for that one. Thank you so much. If I could write, that'd be great. All right. The next one I have two of, this is the Green Apple Explosion. Um, all the molds that she uses, she has, I think I've caught like maybe a maximum of seven different molds. And she uses the same molds for all the different soaps. I mean, one of these bars might have this mold, whereas the other one uh, in the same set will have another mold. Just know that I can't um, give you a specific mold styling you know i just have to give you what i have obviously uh because she just over she uses the same molds so it's not a big deal but i have two of the green apple explosion and yes they smell like green apple um also i want you to make note of when you open the package you're going to smell them really strong no just know that it's not going to smell that strong on your body um it goes on your body when you wash with it much lighter. I mean, think about it. It's a whole bar of soap. So, okay. So I have two of the green apple explosion. Please make note of that. We're going to go on. I have only one of these left. This is the strawberry kiwi. I only have one left. It is this one. And this is what it looks like. It's the pink bar of soap. Okay. Um, I will tell you, I definitely smell the strawberry and I've said this before, but I want to tell you new people who don't know my line, line of soaps very well. You smell the strawberry, but on this one, I'm not smelling kiwi. It, it's almost like I smell, I smell strawberry, but almost like a floral, uh, background scent. Very different, but I need you to know that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, book. Um, it's really nice to see you. I don't know if you know this book because I know you go to her channel. But Jane uh, Newhouse, um, I will have her on my channel Thursday at 4 p.m. Um, this Thursday. She will be on my channel for an auction, so that'll be fun. Um, my next one, I have two, possibly three, but let's just say two. Um, just for now, um, this one is one of my most popular scents. It's called monkey fart. I know that's a bit different, but that's what she calls it. It's the bar soap that looks like a sunset. Now this one has four different scents in it. It has banana, cherry, orange, and coconut. I will tell you that when you smell this bar soap, the first initial smell that you smell is the cherry right off the bat. And then um, I would say the orange would be the second, the second um, scent that comes up next, kind of like uh, right there. Those two scents I smell more of than the other two, okay? Uh, but I have two of the monkey fart if anybody is interested. Like I said, I'll look and see. I'm sorry, my nose itches, guys. It's I have allergies. Just please forgive that. Uh, the next scent I have is the Great Crush. And this totally, it's the purple bar of soap. It smells like you just opened a can of Great Crush pop. This is one of my favorite scents. I love this. I love this. It's the next bar of soap I'm using in my shower. Um, because I've been using these soaps uh, for a long time now. And um, I brought them to you guys to sell them because I thought they were so terrific. Uh, but that's this one. I have like uh, four to five. I think I have a total of five, but we'll say four of the Grape Crush. If you are interested, please put it in the chat. And please tell me how many you want. Okay. That's a... Fun one. I love that one. Okay. So. Let's 
trying to get my sense up here, so. So I can see how many I have of each of these because I have several. Okay. Trying to get them all. All right, we're going to do this one next. Um, this one is my ultimate favorite one of them all. It is called Egyptian Musk. And it's in this like taupey gray pink colored soap. It's a musk scent. It definitely smells like musk but like a real sweet musk scent. Oh man, it is fantastic. I can't even tell you, uh, but this is, uh, Bob and I, it is our favorite, hands down, it's our favorite bar in this line. Um, the grape is my second, but this Egyptian musk, I have two of these. Um, that is uh, our favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, the next one I have, This one, I only have one of, okay, because uh, the other one sold. I think I had four at one point or three. This is the brown sugar and fig. I only have one more, okay, only one more. Um, this one, you can definitely smell brown sugar, very sweet scent. Ah, uh, This would be great for a man um, because it's, it's like a spicy scent as well. It's like spicy and sweet. And I think this would be great for a man. So this is the brown bar. I only have one. Oh, that's okay, Amy. I totally understand. I'm showing my um, bars of soap right now. I know there's lots of auctions out there, guys. And I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But thank you. I know it's it's hard keeping up with, with everybody. Um, this next one I have two of, it is the Pineapple Express, okay? And it is the yellow bar of soap, the, like, ombre yellow. Definitely smells like you opened up a can of pineapple. That's what it smells like to me. I have two of the Pineapple Express. If anybody's interested, please let me know. Moving on. I have at least three of the next one. This is the Fuzzy Navel. It is the orange ombre bar of soap. Um, this one, I know if you have an alcoholic drink of the Fuzzy Navel, um, it's more of a peach flavor. Well, this smells more of orange, okay? But it's not that overpowering. I always describe this. It is not like the tangerine orange, that overpowering, like really strong tangerine scent it's an orange scent and it's a light orange scent and it smells wonderful if you love citrus you've got to get you one of these this is the fuzzy navel i have three three of the fuzzy navel um that's one of those scents if you really need help waking up in the morning when you take your shower you need a good soap that really uh, wakes you up and energizes you, that's the one you want then. You want the fuzzy navel, and I have three. Um, the next one I have at least three of. This is the frankincense and myrrh. Uh, you want a fuzzy navel. You got it. Thank you so much, um, Picky Nicky. I love it. Nice, clean scent. It, it's just great. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this next one looks like the Fuzzy Navel. It's an orange bar of soap, but this is the Frankincense and Myrrh. And, uh, yeah, they really are. And, guys, it's not because I'm selling it. Um, when it comes to products like this where I literally 
went out myself to find products for me and my family to use for myself. Um, this was before I started selling them to you guys. I wanted to find top quality um, natural ingredient soaps that, that would be better for, you know, I told you I have that skin condition. Um, the skin condition, by the way, the technical term is called keratosis pilaris. I had to go to a dermatologist, of course, and find all this out. Um, uh, but the slang term is called chicken skin. And uh, like I said, it looks like zits. It doesn't look real nice. But uh, come to find out, I have an intolerance to gluten. And it causes those, uh, looks like zits on my arms and legs. and uh, But they're not really on my legs anymore. Um, and they really smooth them down to where you can barely feel them. Um, whether I eat gluten or not, um, they keep my skin condition down. Um, that's why I said they really work. And um, that's why I'm offering these to you guys. I wanted to start selling in them, selling them because I believe in them so much. I tried them for me. Um, so this is the frankincense and myrrh. I have three of them. If you don't know what frankincense and myrrh is, it is a very spicy scent that straight up, it smells like Christmas. Uh, you know, when you go into those uh, Christmas like candle stores and that, that one scent that's really spicy, that's what it is. Frankincense and myrrh, oh my word. Straight up, smells like Christmas time. And remember, frankincense and myrrh, um, those were spices that were gifted uh, to Jesus when he was born um, by the wise men. And I see why. Those oils, those scents. Uh, frankincense and myrrh. I have three. If you are interested, please let me know. We're going on, guys. I still have more. Uh, the next scent I have two of. I have two of these, and it is the banana cream. It is in the yellow bar. Um these smell more like banana pudding, not the fruit banana, like more of the fruit. It smells more of like a banana pudding. Okay, they smell fabulous. I have two of the banana pudding. If you are interested, please let me know. Okay. I have two of these uh, for your men out there, you ladies. Um, your men need something good, too. And this is the cool water for men. Oh, man. Smells like cologne. This is how, I always say this, this is how a man should smell. Straight up, like the cool water, like the, the uh, cologne. Okay? For men. I have two of the blue bars. Um, cool water. So there's those. I have one of these. This is one of my brand new scents that I got. I sold the other two. I've got one left. This is Jasmine. So this is the ombre. Um, it's almost like a maroon red and pink. Oh, man. Jasmine. Uh, very similar to lilac and gardenia. Kind of like if lilac and gardenia had a baby. It'd be jasmine. Okay, so you want the jasmine and the frankincense and myrrh. You got it. You got it. Thank you so much, Jean. I will write you down right now. Okay, for right now, the jasmine is gone. If somebody, right now in the chat, if uh, somebody else, um, I'm going to be ordering more jasmine. So just please, if you want more jasmine, Please uh, keep watching my auctions because um, I will be placing an another order and Jasmine will be one of the scents because I, I just sold out just now and it's a new scent. So please um, keep watching and uh, it usually takes about two weeks for me to get um, my my order in when I order the soap. So thank you. Thank you, Jean. Yes. Amy's got the Jasmine. So she knows exactly. She knows what's up. Okay. I think I have two guys, 
two of the blue coconut cream, and I have three of the green apple explosion. So if anybody's interested in those, let me know. Okay, this one, you want you want a total of three? Okay, I'm going to write that down, and I will put... I will make sure I will get enough for you in this next order, Jean, because I do have to place another order because obviously, you guys, as I sell, I have to replace. So, uh, Jean. No, three more. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Three more, Jasmine. I will do that, Jean. I will make sure... Those are on the next order, and I will order those tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will place another soap order. Yeah, <laughs> Jasmine Plant. Okay, this next one, guys, is very unusual. I'm going to read what ingredients are in this next one. This next one is called Nag Champa, and that's exactly the name of the scent. Um, I'm not the one who made up that name, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. This is very spicy. It's got different. I'm going to read you the ingredients. I only have one. So if you want this one, you're, you're going to have to speak up quick. Um, let me read you what it has. Just give me one momento. I have to go back to my um, screenshot I took of the scent. Here we go. Here it is. This is what Nag Champa has in it. It is an artful blend of vibrant spices, fiery cinnamon, fragrant clove, and intoxicating patchouli. It combines fruity floral notes for a well-rounded finish. Okay, it is a very spicy scent. Now, me smelling it. Oh, thank you, Elsie. Welcome. So great to see you, Elsie. I've missed you. Okay. So I can smell, I'm going to tell you right now, I can smell the patchouli. I can smell, now when it says fruity floral notes, the fruit smell that I smell in here, I smell a little bit of a grape, like in the background. It's not real strong, but I smell the spices. It almost smells like patchouli, clove, and almost a little bit like frankincense and myrrh. A little bit. It's very spicy. This is great for your man, ladies. If you need a soap for your man, uh, to me, this would be another one of the soaps that I think a man would like. Now, you know, to each his own. But I only have one of those. Um, I sold all the rest of them. So I just, that's a side note. You guys need to know that. Okay. So... Um, the next one, I'm trying to see. i got to get all these out, and they're all kind of. Okay, let's do this one first. I have two of the next one. Yeah, I've missed you so much. I know you're really busy um, lately, and I totally understand. I've missed you. Um, I've missed you a lot. I love having you in the chat. You're so cool. Um, I have two of these. This is the lemongrass. This is another one of my very popular scents. Now, I want you to look at this bar of soap. She uses real, real lemongrass in her soaps. Um. I'm telling you this, it, you know, she doesn't just use the oils. Some of these soaps, she actually uses the spice or the whatever. Yes, pink sugar is another great one. Okay. So I have two of the lemongrass if you want it. I am using the lemongrass in um, the Australian line of soaps in my kitchen, at my kitchen sink. Um all right, so that's what I'm using in my kitchen sink right now. Now, the next one, let's see. I have 
two of. This is another one of my favorite, favorite soaps. This is the Blackberry Sage. Oh, if you love your Blackberry, you're going to love this soap. You're going to love it. Plus the looks of the soap. I love it. There's the Blackberry and there's the Sage. And both sides smell different. Oh, man, that smells so good. I've also sold a couple of these. I have two of the Blackberry Sage. It's one of my personal faves, um, but you got to like Blackberry, of course. Uh, very fragrant. I Oh, I just love that one. That one's a winner. Just a winner. And a purple and green bar soap. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love that? So I have two of those. Awesome sauce. The next one. The next one. I have four of these. Guys, another, I, I have so many favorites, but uh, this one is pretty much a lot of people's favorite. This is a very popular, uh, usually when I get these, I sell out. I have four of them, and I got four of them on purpose this round because they sell out so fast. And this is the cinnamon stick. And as you can see, she puts actual cinnamon in it. It smells just like a bag of Red Hots. And um, you might have to be as old as me to know what Red Hots are. That cinnamon candy that's really hot. Yeah. It's like opening up a bag of Red Hots. I kid you not. Um, that one. Oh, man. She uses real cinnamon, not just the oil in here. That's why it's so very fragrant. So I have four of the cinnamon stick. If you are interested, please, please let me know. Okay. Well, actually, I have three. I'm sorry. I, I lied. I don't have four. I don't have four. I think I might have three. Um, but I do have another brown sugar and fig. So I have two of the brown sugar and fig. I thought I only had one, but I have two. Yeah, big hot tamales. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is one of my newest scents. Uh, actually, it is the newest scent I have besides jasmine. And this is the black raspberry vanilla. I know, I said this before when I smelt this for the first time and I showed you guys. This is soon going to be uh, up there with my grape and my Egyptian musk. I, you know, okay, between this one and the blackberry and sage, I think this one definitely, I think I like it more. Uh, and I have two of them, two of these. Black raspberry vanilla. That's what that is. I only have two. It's my newest scent. Uh, so don't miss out on that one. All right. So what else do I have left? Oh, I do have pink sugar. Uh, Elsie, speaking of pink sugar, I have two of these. Uh, these are the real, the feminine. These are pro popular too, guys. This is the pink sugar. This smells like a very, it smells like sweet. It smells like sugar, like a sweet floral um, perfume. Um. I always compare it to like the Britney Spears perfume, or I tell you what, it might smell more like the um, uh, Nicki Minaj Friday, the Friday perfume. I think this smells closer to that one, to be honest. So you'd have to smell that perfume, which I love that one. Ah, oh, this is popular, a very sweet scent. And it's got that glitter. Look at it. Really pretty. I have two of the pink sugar. I had to get them back. It was popular. I sold uh, the rest of my bars before this. Uh, they went pretty quick. And um, that was a fan favorite. Once you try it, you'll know. If you like sweet smelling um, anything, perfume, you would like these soaps. Okay. And then I think we're getting down to the, that's the nitty-gritty here. 
Okay. Yeah, I have several of, yeah, the fuzzy navel, I have probably, I still probably have another four. Yeah, there you go. There you go, guys. That's what it smells like. Oh, yeah. Okay, this next scent, I have two of. Look at this scent, guys. Buttercream icing. Uh, Bob and I are using this right now in the shower. You could eat this bar of soap. It smells straight up like buttercream frosting that you frost your cake with. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. So, of course, I had to use it. Bob and I love it. I mean, it smells like you could eat it. All these bars of soap really do. Uh, but I have two of the buttercream icing. Don't miss out on that one. That's on that one. Um, the next one I have two of. It is the juicy watermelon. And this does not smell like the fruit. It smells like the hard candy, like the Jolly Ranchers. Just make note of that. Because, you know, the real fruit of watermelon smells different than the hard candy. So I want you to beware of that. I try to be as honest as I can about the smell. I mean, it smells good. You have to like, you know, the Jolly Rancher, the hard candy, uh, watermelon candies. But if you don't like that, that type of watermelon scent, then you won't like this. But that's exactly what these smell like, Jolly Ranchers. Kid you not. I have two of the Juicy Watermelon. Then I've got one more left. Okay, guys? To show. One more scent. So I have several Fuzzy Navel and several Great Crush. Yeah, the Frankincense. Yep, that's another awesome one. This is uh, the Peppermint Swirl. This smells like crushed candy cane. That's exactly what it smells like. Candy cane. Oh, my gosh. I only have one. The rest of them sold out, guys. Uh, so I only have one right now if you want the peppermint. Oh, man. That smells edible, too. It smells like you could just, like you're going to gnaw down on a candy cane. <coughs> so that is all my soaps, guys, in the American line. Okay. Um, these are all, you can ask, uh, my regular people in the chat right now, you can ask them about the soaps, how well they work. If you have any questions or if you want to ask me any questions, you can, um, they, they're, um, so far they have been well received. And everybody who's tried them, I haven't got, and I'm not saying this to get you to buy them. I just want to tell you, I haven't got one bad report. Um, everybody who's tried them. Now, um, if somebody thought it, it, something bad, it might have been the scent. Maybe wasn't exactly what they thought it would be. That's why I try to really get picky in telling you what the scents smell like. Like the banana cream, for example. Remember how I said it doesn't smell like a fresh peeled banana? It smells more like banana pudding. Just like the juicy watermelon doesn't smell like um, you're biting down on watermelon the fruit. It smells like the hard candy. I get really specific because I want you guys to know what you're buying. I don't want you to get it and be like, that's why I told you on the fuzzy navel, it doesn't smell like peach. Like you would think the drink, it smells like orange. But I have to be honest with you guys because you're buying it, you know. And I don't want you to get something that you're going to be um, upset that you bought. And they do last. And um, I will tell you, because they're real, real creamy, they don't lather up a whole lot. They lather, but it's not a lot. So don't sit there and take your scrunchie and take the soap and sit here and do this a thousand times and say, where's the suds? You'll see suds, but it isn't going to be a lot. So don't, you know, wear down the soap because you're expecting it to just uh, pump out a ton of bubbles because it does not. It's an all-natural soap. So 
Just know that going into it, okay? Now, the Australian soap, um, I'm going to get a couple, and I'm just going to show you a couple of the bars, and then I'm going to tell you the scents I have in the Australian line of soaps. They are cheaper. They are only $6 a bar, but you guys can imagine why. Um, they came from Australia. These other ones came from America, so that's why there is a price difference. So these bars of soap, are, um, those ones are four ounces. These are 3.5, and they are by um, a company out of Australia. So these ones use 100% plant oil. They use goat's milk as well. Um, these ones do lather up a lot, a lot more than those. I will say that. Um, so if you are wondering, I'm going to tell you what scents I have, okay? Um, I can get these anytime. I source them in a different way than I do my American soaps, okay? Uh, these ones, I actually have a spot where I source them. I can go there every day of the week if I wanted to. So if you want um, like more than one of the scents that I'm going to tell you about now, let me know, um, okay? So this one is Honeysuckle. I have one of them on me right now. Like I said, I can get more. So it's the yellow bar soap. Uh, this one is lilac. Straight up smells like a lilac bush. And I tell you what, this is nice to have in your bathroom. Um, because it's, I don't know about you guys, but my favorite scent that I like lofting through the windows, through the house, is lilac. I love a lilac bush. And even if you don't use these on your body, I've told you a couple things you can do is uh, get yourself a baggie and shave up um, the bars of soap like this one. And um, you can either A, put it in a baggie like this and puncture holes in there and use them as little uh, dresser sachets um, to scent up your uh, bathroom and make it, or your um, dressers, your clothes to make it smell fabulous. What? Huh? Yeah. And, and um, you can use them as sachets um, or like Bob said, a cheesecloth. But there's other ways you can use them. Uh, shave them and just put them in a soap dish and leave them sit on your bathroom counter. And I tell you what, it will set up your whole bathroom. You know, you don't use the shavings. You just, as a room deodorizer. Also, uh, you can put them, so guys, there's all kinds of ways. And these uh, soaps are perfect for that. But I have lilac. I have honeysuckle. I have a white bar that we playfully, we name it uh, the Jovan bar because it smells like it's a musk scent. Uh, it's it's my biggest selling uh, Australian bar of soap, bar none. Uh, yeah, pun intended. Um, it's a white bar of soap, and it smells exactly like the women's Jovan musk for women. The the old-timey musk for women uh, smells exactly like that. Uh, so I can get a hold of those. Uh, there's sandalwood. There's patchouli. Um, they were out of the lemongrass, so I can't get a hold of lemongrass right now, although I haven't been to the store in a while. I'll look. Uh, one lilac and one honeysuckle. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, also, I have one called Extra Creamy Goat's Milk and Berries, and it smells like strawberries and cream. It smells so good. So I have two of those right now in my stash. Um, also, I have, I think I have two bars or one bar. Um, it's called Manuka Honey. It's an orange bar of soap, and it is fantastic. It does smell exactly. It's definitely made. Uh, they put Manuka Honey right in it. Where is my... I'm looking for my marker. I know. I just had it. You ought to see this desk, Bob. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand the... My desk is just a hot mess. It is. 
All right, well, I'm going to have to do it this way. Thank you so much, Amy. I'm putting you down right now. And I can get these. You want the strawberry and goat's milk and one of the honey. Okay, so I need that orange bar of soap and the one that says the berries and um, extra. Thank you so much. I'm putting you down right now. I'm just going to use these little tags. Let's do it. Oh, I put it in the drawer, Bob. Where it Yikes. Belongs. No, not where it belongs. Another drawer. You say Manuka honey, don't Yeah, one of those and one of the... Uh, yep, here's the Manuka honey. That the one? It's in the orange bar. And, yep. No, it's the one that's it's marked. It says... Um, it's the red one, but it's the other red one that's marked. Yeah, that one. Yep. And this, yep. See this one, Nikki? This is the uh, berries and cream. So you're going to get these two. And Amy, you're getting these two. Thank you so much, ladies. These are great. Like I said, these are $6. They're cheaper uh, because they are the Australian line of soaps, as you guys can imagine. So. And then you guys can figure out which you like better. Whether you like the American line or the Australian line, it's good to try both, you know. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. And like I said, they're, they're fantastic. They all are. Um, and then also, I can't remember. I think I still have it. I have a blue and white bar. It's a turquoise blue color and white striped bar. And it's called Ocean Beach. And what it smells like is that old-timey, the Vaseline lotion in the yellow bottle. The original Vaseline lotion, it smells exactly like that. So it's the blue and white bar of soap, and it smells like the Vaseline lotion. If anybody wants the Ocean Beach, I have that one. Um, so those are the scents I have. Like I said, Jovan, the musk-smelling one for women is my most popular one. Um, that one, actually, the real name of the Jovan one is called extra creamy goat's milk and um so lisa wants a yeah i got amy's she wanted the lilac and the honeysuckle yeah i just got her down um yes it's the blue bar is it down there because i know emmy was smelling it yesterday and we got it. here it is lisa this is the blue and white bar, guys. And that's going to Lisa Jenkins. Thank you so much. Like I said, I can get a hold of more, which I will be. I've got to go try to go to the store tomorrow. Uh, so Lisa Jenkins, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got all theirs. Yeah, that's that's whose I was bagging up. When you got that Manuka honey, that's, okay. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I got hers. Thank you so much, everybody. I am going to close down shop right now. It's just about almost um, 11 o'clock, right on the nose. How about that? Um, so I, I want to end the night by telling you all, first of all, thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for your purchases uh, and supporting my little channel. I enjoy hanging out with all of you. It's just been a blast. I'm going to go through my announcements real, real quick. Okay, we're going to go to the board. And so this is what we got going on. Tomorrow, I will be invoicing all of you. Uh, please be mindful in watching your emails and your PayPal. Um, so uh, I do require payment within 24 hours. If you cannot pay, please just get a hold of me and uh, we'll work something out, okay? So, um, 
Tomorrow is invoicing. We're over here. Uh, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, I have my auction on Autumn Grace's channel. Please join us there. Wednesday is my auction right here on my channel, 4 p.m. Eastern. Please join me. I may or may not have a guest. We'll see. Uh, Thursday, Blandine, if you're in the chat, I will be getting hold of you. Uh, Thursday, I have somebody new I'm collabing with for the first time. Jane and I have been talking about collabing forever. Um, we were waiting. Um, we were going to collab with Kaylee, but um, Kaylee has taken a, a break lately. So um, it will be Jane and I by ourselves, 4 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Please join us. And then that same night, 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be on Autumn Grace's. As of right now, Friday and Saturday, I have off. But I may be, there is two other people I'm going to try to collab with. So we'll see. I may have another one. And then Sunday, I round it out that week uh, with my 7 p.m. show, just like I had tonight. Um, oh, thank you, Nikki. Um, I love watching you, too. Uh, like I said, guys, please sub to her. She has all kinds of auctions. Nikki, I tell you what, I would love to collab with you. If you, you are such great fun. Um, I am down for it, girl. If, uh, whether it's your channel, my channel, I don't even care. Uh, I would definitely love to collab with you. Um, I love all of you. Thank you so much, Amanda. Uh, anybody that needs to get a hold of me, uh, please hit me up on my email Facebook Messenger. Um, if you need my phone number, let me know. Um, thank you so much, Lisa. And thank you all for your purchases and your love. And with that, I'm going to uh, leave you like I normally do and tell you, please be kind. Be kind to your family, your neighbor, uh, the person next to you. Uh, you just never know if you're entertaining an angel. Um, and you certainly don't know if tonight will be your last night on this earth or theirs. And, um, you know, no one wants to leave this earth. Um, I'm sure having someone being nasty or awful to them. So please be kind to one another. Show some love. Uh, give somebody a hug, a smile, an encouraging email, a letter, a note, um, a phone call. Uh, please keep praying for those that are ill, that are going through procedures and surgeries. They're in a lot of pain. Please remember Sandra. Please remember, uh, there's many people. Um, um, please remember Blandine and uh, various, just various people. Guys, um, there are some people that have had loss as of recent. Um, and we sure want to remember them in prayer, right? I love you all. And uh, yeah, we'll do it, uh, Nikki. I will, uh, I'll email you, okay? Because uh, that would be awesome. So with that, I'm going to say good night. And I love you all. And you guys take care, okay? See you next time. Bye, Joyce. Bye, everyone. Love you too.